I am doing it. We're in this bathroom again. Why do you keep on bringing me back to this bathroom, Sean? Because you haven't learned your lesson yet. Mm -hmm. You know, in retrospect, I'm trying to remember what the menu screen of Silent Hill 2 was. It was like blue, wasn't it? It was like black bar with a blue picture of something scratchy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just sort of a blank thing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't, I don't Again, remember. These games didn't really do anything interesting with their title screens. Certainly not now. We had a toilet to look at this time around. <laughs> you love this toilet. Don't even try to pretend otherwise. I mean, we spent a lot of time examining these toilets. If there's any part of this game we've examined the most, it's probably the toilets. So, without further ado, let's examine this toilet. Welcome to the stream, everyone. I'm your host, Isaac MC Canary, and that wasn't supposed to be a spoonerism. We're playing Silent Hill 2. Introduce yourself! Hi, my name is Sean, also known as the Talking Skull. He, him, and I'm ready to find out what the hospital can do for me. What can the hospital do for us? I'm. How I mean, is our healthcare system looking? If, the, if they don't have baby basement, what are they really doing with this game? That's what I want to know. They don't have Baby Basement. What are they doing with this game? Have you ever thought about what they were doing with Baby Basement? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I'm Baby Basement. You don't know Baby Basement? What are you talking about? You remember in the first game, first game, in the second game, in the original of the second game, the first version of this game, when you go into Otherworld in the hospital, you go down the stairwell at the very bottom, there's just baby sounds. You remember that? No. It lives in my head a lot. I never forget Baby Basement. Seemingly. Frankly, I can't believe you forgot Baby Basement. I don't remember babies being particularly prominent in this game. I mean, there might be a reason for that, Sean. <laughs> They were, I guess, a little bit more prominent in the first game, but that was different. That was different. Yeah, I mean, the first game's got babies all over it. That's a baby game for sure. That's that a baby game, game for babies. You hit babies in the head with a lead pipe multiple times in that game. You have so much ammo, and it's not like you haven't been shooting your gun. <laughs> Granted, I remember getting a lot of ammo in the first game, but I feel like I had 160 bullets by the end of the game. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, that was easy. Honestly. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Honestly, uh, I feel bad for her. I, I can't yeah, believe I you did that to her. You probably didn't like need I've to do that. I feel like I've done something wrong. Truly, she you have. have anything. Uh-huh. That was just actually a nurse you bopped in the back of the head. No, she clearly has, well, blood all over her at this point. You uh -huh. can't really make much else out anymore. You don't know if she had the blood on her before or after you bopped her in the back of the head. This fucking oh. rotate. <gasps> the longer we play this game, the more this rotate annoys me <laughs> that uh -huh. it exists. It doesn't do anything. like. You could argue that it didn't do anything before, but that, I think that's just blatantly not true. I think there were at least a couple items that benefited from rotation in the first game. I mean, game, even if it doesn't they? benefit from it, you at least could do it. Like, this weird uh -huh. half measure where you technically can do it, but it literally doesn't do anything. Like, that's but so it's, weird. It's realistic. It's not. I can turn my hand all the way over. You did it. You monster, what kind of arms do you have that they can rotate 360? You got action action figure hands? I'm an action figure, and frankly, I'm insulted that this game is not accommodating to my... <laughs> I feel unrepresented. Now, here's the real question. Do you have to put on trigger fingers to use a controller, or grabby fists? Uh... You really don't know I'll what I'm talking fingers. about. Okay. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about it, because it's it's not a... 
What was that? What was that? What's wrong with that? That's probably nothing. You know that the radio isn't reliable in this game. Ooh, I do like this. This is appropri appropriately spooky. This is like the spookiest thing that's happened since the beginning of last stream. Yeah, I'm thoroughly spooked. I don't know what's going on. Where do I need this thing at, anyway? That's a good question. Where am I trying to get up to? Apparently up there. Maybe. I and mean, there's wind. Oh, well. I think I'm just trying to get over this. Yeah, I think maybe you just have to get past it. Seemingly, you can just walk around it. No, no, no. I'm trying to get... James? <laughs> James? I'm trying to get up over this thing. Problem, James? Oh, or not. That's a pile of trash, Sean. Sean, we don't need a repeat of Thursday. That's a pile of trash. I... <laughs> that would have objectively made this game better. What if James could just pick up things and then kind of, like, wobbly ragdoll with them around and throw around boxes? I think that would have been an improvement to the game. Ah, there we go. That's where I'm trying to get. That's where... Trying to get into that window. You saw it seemingly. It seems like he's getting stuck on things. That doesn't seem like you stopping on purpose. Yeah, no, he doesn't like to. James, please. Too I far to the right. You're too really far not. to the oh right. <laughs> Alright. When the handles go down, James goes to town. When the Trying handles stay up, James doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> he really doesn't, though. Oh, hey, look! The solution to the thing that you were trying to do another way! Uh-huh. So you were right. They brought in the grid to... Yeah, no, I can't read this. They brought in the girl today. Poor thing hasn't said a word. She just sits there, head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. Seems to have calmed her down a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. How do you feel about these memoirs? Because it kind of occurred to me that they don't really have the, like, Silent Hill to, like... Uh, it's uh, weird, right? Like, they've rewritten a bunch of these memoirs. Right. And I don't really understand for what purpose. I've been and trying to piece that together this whole time. And they don't have, like, the news articles anymore. I love the news articles. They add a little bit of ambience. They one. Some... I yeah, mean, but there's a, a new lot. news article. Uh-huh. But, yeah, like, they've rewritten all of the memos about the stuff that's going on in the hospital, and I don't really know why they did that, because... We have a friend in the walls. We have friends in the walls. James is going to be a friend in the wall in a second. <laughs> Yeah, seemingly. Is that who's in my walls tapping? Is it James? Is James inside my wall, the walls of my house? Let's get in there. Get in there. Go head first. It'll go great. Kid me would have gone in head first and it would have been a mistake. <laughs> This is a fun sort of allusion to the bit of the apartment that they took out. Mm-hmm. Now, James, what's your plan? I don't think he knows. Uh-huh. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're just gonna... No. Push. Push. You got this, James. He's a real man. What even was that? It looked like a locker. Oh, we're back down here, I guess. For why? But yeah, I, I, I liked a lot of the like environmental like textural memoirs because like there's like information that feels like it's both applicable to james but also like characterizes silent hill a little bit that's what makes them so good 
Mm-hmm. It does a lot to, like, feel like... Because there's, like, a couple things that we've read where they're, like, trying to make it, like, more personal to James, but the reason why those memoirs were good was because it, you had to read into them whether or not they applied to James or not. Yeah, well, and this game's not just about James, too, like... Yeah. It's... Why won't they help me? Why do they keep me in here with him? Why do they keep no. me in here with him? Let me out, let me out, right. let me out, let me out. You already me did out. this once game. You don't get to just do it again. This is a problem this game really has. Is having a good idea and then repeating it a bunch of times until it's not a good idea anymore. Uh huh. I think where I stand so far through this game is. is you played the remake and you really enjoyed it and you haven't played the original if you enjoyed it for the story highly recommend playing the original because there's a lot of nuance that is just lost it's just true it's just lost uh but if you liked it for the gameplay you won't like the original i don't think because <laughs> uh Let's just say you don't. The, the Silent Hill 2 is not about fighting monsters. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was mean. I also think that I was like mulling it over, and I think for as far as like. Uh, mon uh, monster design and encounter design in silent or in a survival horror game. I think I'm erring more towards the side of do not give enemies combos or very no. Do not make combos often. I'll put it that way. I think it is better to have an enemy that attacks erratically in one swing. That's a little hard to judge rather than an enemy who attacks a bunch at you. <laughs> okay, so I am just back down here. Like, this are? is not new. Like, this isn't even... Was that a shortcut? Other could we anything. consider... Yeah, could we consider that a shortcut? We're just back down here. It's not a shortcut in the sense that, like, I can't go back up that way. Uh huh. It's a shortcut. It was a slip and slide. Down. Okay. Did I have something that I needed to be down here? I have the bent needle and this bracelet. Did you get anything from that? Did you get this bracelet? Yeah, the bracelet's the only thing I got. I don't okay. really know what I need it for though. I really thought. Yeah. Oh, um, you also got a key. You got the L1 key, which is... No, I already used that. That's how I got oh. here. Well, shit. First room, shower, greenhouse. I still can't get down. I mean, I may as well check, I guess. He seemingly has circled a locked door. I would I would guess that means that you have the key for it, or is he just insinuating that, that you want to... own a key. Wanna... Um... I mean, unless the bent needle. I guess I could see if I can pick the lock. Well, not that one. Oh yeah, that was the wrong one. But yeah, I, I have a feeling that having an enemy who attacks more erratically with like one big swing that if you that isn't necessarily hard to be hit by, but if you get hit by it, it doesn't feel good. I don't know. I feel like that that works better in my head. Like, it can't be completely unreliable, but it should at least be erratic. Okay, I never did the staircase. So this I guess I'm just going back up. This game also reminds me that we... That I should replay at le uh, replay and play Last of Us 1 and 2, if for nothing else, but because... If we're going to add uh, a dodge in a game like this, I really do think The Last of Us has been the best example of that kind of dodge I've experienced. I just remembered it being that you couldn't really spam it, and it was way more visceral. Like, mm -hmm. 
It just something about well, you it. You also can't dodge forward, and I don't think it gave you iframes so much as it was a little more positional. It's I think it's still a synced animation if you pull it off, but mm -hmm. it's not as much of a freebie as it is in this game. Mm -hmm. It also, if I remember correctly, enemies attacked in a way that made that dodge not always reliable, too, and I can't remember why. I think it helps that I believe, if I remember correctly, if anything, if you're being attacked by more than one thing at a time, the dodge wasn't reliable, and that's not really a thing in this game. <laughs> you don't really get attacked by multiple things. You do sometimes. It's occasional. Wait. What? 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 Oh, that door just might be locked from this side. You might be able to open it up, maybe? Wait, am I stupid? What have you done? No, I'm not stupid. Why would Wait. we put you why would we put your thoughts into question? Uh I don't know, I'm questioning. Okay. Yes, this is where I need to be. Laura Oh hey, save. Hey, are you okay? Go away! Don't be afraid, I just want to talk. That was kind of weak, Laura. You're supposed to be a snotty brat. <laughs> we get another weird, pointless look around button. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do anything. Now, James, why don't you just reach through the big hole that you made? I'm sure you could reach the lock. Coming up the stairs. I don't You're know. So loud. I don't know. You back here? How did Spooky Month go quick? That's a good question, Thylos. It's just been a time. October was a hell of a month, honestly. Like, I always have, I think, usually a pretty good time in October, but this October was a fucking ride, man. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. My favorite kind of my favorite kind of uh, padlock. I had one of those. I have one of those. Dude, I had an experience with a padlock uh, at the last place I lived because I had like padlocked a box that I hadn't opened in a really long time that I needed to get into, and I couldn't remember the combination. Oh, Doctor Andrews, we delivered the radiographs you requested. However, it looks like the file was incomplete, as one of the pictures was nowhere to be found. We will send somebody as soon as we locate it. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay. Uh, but I had a padlock on a box on a lockbox that I needed into. And, uh, I, I, like, couldn't find a, a hint anywhere in, like, notes on my phone or, like, in papers. I even called my parents. I was like, do you remember? And they were like, I don't know, man. And I, like, spent 45 minutes and I was like, I guess I'm going to get a bolt cutter. And then randomly out of nowhere, I was on the phone. I was like, wait a second. I think I got it. And then I got it. And I was like, oh my god, I don't know where I incepted that from. And then I threw the bad lock away because I was like, fuck it, I'm never using this thing again. <laughs> and now that lockbox stays unlocked because I would rather have a box that I can access with important documents all the time than a box with important documents in it that I f keep locked that I forget the combination for and can never get to ever again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Day one, patient transferred for observation, malnourished, shallow breathing, avoids eye contact, agitated in presence of staff, frantic at the notion of touch. Day two, patient refuses solid food, N nasogastric forced feeding required, feeding them through their nose? I guess. Serotonin antagonists administered to reduce nausea and vomiting. D3, patient restrained for bathing and feeding. Prepare the treatment room accordingly. Progressing malnourishment, oxygen deficiency, self-injury suspected, could not confirm. Day 4, something's very wrong. 
Spooky. This is actually something that, again, is like... Write down, James? X-ray viewer? No, uh, it's not the room I'm in. Maybe he just remembered. He's like, oh yeah, I need to not forget to make a note there. <laughs> Better keep track of that. That could be important. I almost forgot. Uh-huh. This something else. The monster seems to be upstairs. Probably. The memoirs, I also think, I... Th this is just a limitation that actually the remake has imparted on itself by making these kind of, like, more realistically sized memoirs that all fit on a single piece of paper. That's a big thing about this. Door did close. The door, I was trying to back through you. That's a big thing about the original, right? And Signalis, for, uh, as well as Resident Evil for that matter, is, is being able to have multi-page memoirs means you can actually inject more literature for writing and stuff. In this, you really restrict what you can actually say. And again, a lot of a lot of the memoirs from Silent Hill were like full-fledged news articles and stuff. Making them all on diegetic pieces of paper kind of makes it silly in realizing that many of the notes from the f from the original are not just diegetic notes. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting that from. That a lot of them aren't just diegetic notes? They totally are. Ah, shit. <laughs> I guess to be fair... They're usually like memos and shit. Yeah. But it does remove a lot of the, like, multi-page stuff, because I don't think that we've seen a single multi-page memoir in this. There were a couple of them. Mm-hmm. And in this, it seems like they've replaced them all with non... That might also be why they've changed a lot of them, is because they were like, well, we want to... We want to use more of these single-page diegetic notes. So we can't use the big long, the longer like news articles and memoirs. That might be why they're not as common in this. Maybe. Cowards should have had us actually pick up a full newspaper and flip through it. You gonna do half the work and say it's a remake, you hacks? <laughs> Did Hideaki Anno direct this remake? <laughs> well, is that a hot take? Was that was was that was that too far? Was that too mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna stand with you on. Was that a door? Okay, I think it was locked from this side. Yeah, I think that's all it was. Is it was locked from this side and you hadn't checked it yet? He definitely put a key in there. Yeah, he definitely did though. That or maybe the key was in there when you... Maybe the key was already in there, because you've definitely been here. Oh, ooh, see, that's some good lighting. I like that. I liked that. Mm -hmm. You know, this is actually kind of a tight situation. And James and I have been talking actually a lot about Signalis recently, and to you know non sequitur into a completely different topic off of that. Between Signalis, Silent Hill One, and Silent Hill Two, it always is weird to me how much Jacob's Ladder plays an influence on any one of these given pieces of media, especially with regards to Silent Hill One, because Silent Hill One is like. Or Jacob's Ladder is attributed to a huge inspiration for Jacob's, uh, for Silent Hill 1, and yet I always look at Silent Hill 2 as the more Jacob's Laddery-in game. <laughs> James even looks like the main character from that movie. <laughs> Inner Ward. 
Inner ward. Where is it? I guess that's this middle section. Maybe? I, I don't see. I don't understand how the other thing could be inner. It's the west side. I was gonna say, you've got a cafeteria key, and I'm guessing is. Or you got a cafeteria door, which I'm guessing is just locked from the other side. Maybe they don't listen. Oh, they do. Oh, good. James, what was that pain noise? Ah. Oh, what the fuck? Did you see Fun that animation? Game, yeah. That was terrible. Yeah. yeah. Also, the sound effect just broke. Yeah, the I heard that. The game is doing fine. The game is fine. Sean, it could be worse. It could be Monster Hunter Wilds. <laughs> Boy. Boy, did we do some wizardry to get that game to work, James and I. It was a sight to behold, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That game looks really bad. You can make that game look really bad to function. It's quite something. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, genuinely ugly as fuck. Yeah, there we go, Inner Ward. When, you, you know, you've got it on diaper dog shit settings. Uh-huh. Listen, we had, we found diaper dog shit settings the game intentionally does not want you to put it on. <laughs> Still weird to me that you can do that. I haven't decided how I feel about it. What the stomping in this game? Ooh. No, that you can just like run up on them and kill them in one hit. Backstab. What? You don't like a backstab? Just feels weird, sir. What? I really think that might actually be outside. I saw a line <laughs> figure at the end of the hall. Yeah, I mean, I know there's somebody out here in the hall. Man, I almost kind of wish the the radio didn't spark up unless you were in, like, the same hallway or room. I wish walls blocked the radio. It, it this makes is what more I've been saying the whole game. Like, you can... Yeah. The radio triggers through ceilings. Mm-hmm. Which is ridiculous. Your desk is slightly slanted, so if you put your pen on it the wrong way, it slowly rolls off. Is it your desk, or is it your whole house? Sometimes houses get like that. It stresses me out when a house has a little bit of a lean to it. It's both, yeah. Bonk, bonk. Oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. Uh -oh. The ones that do that have glass all over their head, remember? I know, but he did a twitch like he was gonna do the thing, so I got scared. Can I? No. Man, Sean, the more I think about it, Jacob's Ladder might actually be one of my favorite horror movies now. It's really fucking good. <laughs> it's real good. You gotta watch Possession sometime. Mm hmm. This case bears a disturbingly simi- uh, this- wait, did I do the last one? Oh, Fuck. Okay. This case bears a disturbingly- disturbing similarity to a situation that took place in the facility a few years back. The patient was admitted on a court order, but with the consent of his remaining family. His condition appeared to be improving from the first week- few weeks. The administered medications prepared paired with individual sessions with a psychologist and art therapy alleviated his I eh, can't read that word. This hey, we want to talk about not uh uh not dyslexic, I almost said diabetic, non-diabetic friendly fonts. This is one of them. <laughs> well his I think that first one is Avolition. His uh, second one looks like Anhedonia. 
I believe it is Avolition. Thank you. Yep, his Avolition, Anhedonia, and Social Withdrawal. There was no reason for concern. They didn't even know anything was wrong until the night guard reported one of his keys was missing. When they found him, it was already too late. Okay. Listen, Silos, Do I'm the Google one- in Hedonia? And I can make a guess as to what abolition means, but anhedonia doesn't mean anything to me. Lack of interest, enjoyment, or pleasure from life's experiences. Okay, so basically the same. That ain't how tic tac toe goes. Wow. What oh, a freaking apparently dummy. Apparently, this is the keypad combination, according to James. Uh huh. Noted. Wow, that's also okay. kind of spoilers. <laughs> Also, here, one second, can you pause? I'm gonna get out of your parsec, because it parsec is already? No, it's being weird in a new way I've never seen before. I'm gonna try just rejoining. Like everything else seems fine. Stream seems fine, everything else seems fine. Parsec was just having a little bit of a weird heart attack. Okay. It's probably fine. Parsec, what you doing, buddy? You feeling Parse good, Parsec? Parsec, you doing okay? Oh, that was weird. What the fuck? I heard a Badoom. Yeah, but I think it was your Badoom. No, yeah, that's your Badoom. John, is your computer doing okay? Yeah. Oh, Milo, don't press buttons. Oh, that might be why. Milo, what are you doing? What the heck? Here, here Sean, try restarting your parsec. I have no idea what's going on. It's like weirdly skipping. It's very odd. Well, enjoy this picture, everyone. I love this terrible picture. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. One sec. I'm just gonna make sure it fully stops, because Parsec's mm -hmm. one of them fucking programs that likes to pretend it stopped, but it didn't. Uh-huh. But stop, don't launch again. The fuck, Parsec? Parsec, are you a virus? Dude, Parsec might be a virus. They're getting your, they're getting your freaking data. They're mining your data. Oops, that's not Parsec, that's paint. That's not going to be helpful. You could paint a picture, Sean, but it's not going to be helpful for this situation. All right, get in here. Right? All right. Well, apparently this is just our life now. This is just our it's life good. now. How bad is it? It's like... It, like, comes in and out, essentially. Like, it's a weird... It's weird? It's weird. Problem is... Oh. I just heard the badong again. Something is badonging on your end that seems to be fucking with something, maybe? Here, kill this nurse. It sounded like something reconnected again for you, but I don't know what would be causing that. Oh, I don't know what you're asking me to do here. Hmm. Wait a second, it seems fine now. I swear, if you push resume and it starts happening again. Why is it only when you play? Oh, it's slightly bit. Nope, it's not better. <laughs> what the fuck? Do we need to. Hmm. Here's what I'll do. 
No, I need to go save before I do this. I'm gonna go save. You're gonna try and I'm gonna restart something? my computer. Okay. I swear, if you make it to your save. Here. If you make it all the way to the save and it seems I'm restarting fine. Restarting my computer either way, fuck you. <laughs> We're not doing this shit all night. <laughs> What, Sean? What? Can't believe you were about to be like, no, it's bad enough that we need to really do something about it. And then you're about to be like, oh, if it's good for the next 10 seconds, then let's just ignore it. <laughs> this is how All I right. live my life. What do you want from me, Sean? What Get do you want computer. from me? Okay. I'll put us on the intermission screen for now, but I'm not going to mute the god dang stream. Where the hell is Parsec? Damn it. I was almost there, Sean. I was almost there. Uh, back in a moment. It was very odd. Very, very odd. Listen, I'm not doing a stream repair at least. So. Uh, how, how is everyone? How, how it's funny silas you said you know what that what the background is i don't actually know what it's from i just it was a picture that someone posted it wasn't even it wasn't something that demo posted somebody posted this as a response to something that demo posted and his response was like why did this why did you post this you fucking animal <laughs> So funny. Here, I'm just gonna put it back up because it's really funny. It's so funny. It's so upsetting, but it's so funny. <laughs> uh, Sean, don't worry. I'm just I'm just showing a picture of some grade A bullying is all. It's so funny to me. <laughs> it's the picture of the girl who's getting her her arms tied in uh in a knot, and she's just kind of like, why? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Let me right. in, Sean. Get in my computer. Let me into the video game. Huh? I'll wait until you have Silent Hill open, and then I'll put it over. <gasps> And then I'll put it over. <clears throat> Just waiting for it to move to the correct monitor. Oh my god, I fucking hate achievements. The title for Meet Mar Maria makes me mad. Um, I haven't looked at them. I saw it for a second and it just said Uncanny was the title of the, uh, of the fucking achievement. Fuck off. <laughs> Eh, that's fine. If you're gonna give a shitty progress achievement for... Okay, I didn't turn my controller on. You know what? I actually redact that a little, because James literally calls their... calls to attention to how uncanny her appearance... her appearance to, uh... uh... Mary is, so never mind. I'm the shitty one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't... If you're gonna give a shitty progress achievement for that, I don't know what the fuck else you're gonna call it. Just Maria would be the only other thing. Mm -hmm. Well, let me know if this is still dog shit and uh, we can like switch to the finals or something. Yeah, I was like, we'll we'll switch over. We we can go to the finals as backup if we need to, but uh, seems fine now. Uh, I don't know what that was about, and at least it didn't affect the internet on the sh stream. Okay. Uh, wait, this was not where I wanted to go. Where was I going? Oh yes, of course. And yes, Silos. That is the implication, and that's unfortunately what makes it funny, but it's really funny. <laughs> Listen, subverting expectation is a keystone to, uh, comedy. 
and sometimes it uh uh sometimes those expectations have not great implications <laughs> but it's still funny <laughs> listen i think i might say something bad here <laughs> What's wrong with expecting something awful happening and instead something wholesome and innocent happening instead? What's wrong with that, Shaw? Does that mean there's something wrong with me? No. Yeah, Seems okay. normal. Okay. That's what makes that picture so funny. You really think something really terrible is gonna happen, and then instead they just tie her fucking arm. They they tie the sleeves of her arms shut. She just wiggles them around like I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> she just seems confused. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. Have you ever had your hands your sleeves tied? Yeah, your sleeves tied over your hands for like a long sleeve no. shirt. <laughs> It's never occurred to me that this picture is awful. Food, AIDS, mental health. Uh-huh. Am I crazy? That's what that says, right? Yep, okay. Yeah, food, AIDS, mental health. High fiber foods and vegetables. Whole grain foods. Dude, what? No red meat. Red meat turns your gums all gray. Red meat does actually turn your gums all gray. They didn't have oatmeal on there, so can we really trust it? Mm. Well, they had. Uh, they talked so much about grains. Oatmeal's a grain. That's true. They didn't talk about white sauce, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I really thought that was like they were gonna bite your hands or something, but uh. Excuse me, you. Oh, they yeah, left. that's right. Get out of there. Yeah. It's in the walls, deep inside. The mold remover gets rid of it for a while, but then the thing reappears in the exact same spots. We need to get in there, break it all down. We have to root it out. What is this? My favorite show? Redacted. I wouldn't spoil that. That could be any show that I just said. I think I know what show you mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Look, Mr. There's Flanagan. There's only one show I know of. Oh, it's not the show I was thinking of then. I don't know what show you were really thinking of then. <laughs> I was like, Kirby. I only know one show that heavily features mold. I don't know what show you're thinking of that isn't the Mike Flanagan, Flanagan show that you think of that featured, heavily features mold. Because I can think of exactly one so uh, of one show that features mold with Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanaman. <laughs> Ooh, this is an awful place. Ooh, this is an awful place. No, it's honestly ideal. Ow! Do your thing. What do the thing what? that you do that makes things go. You did get hit in the hat back of the head with a lead pipe. He might be having a hard time. Does she have a save on her mouth? Save? Yeah, there's like a red square. I don't think that's what you think it is. I hope it's not what I think it is. Well, I, I actually like hope. little thing they do where they like get stuck in the middle of their attack animation. It's cool. Yeah. It's a good effect. I also like that they have a move there that actually mix stuff up. Slightly. They do just kind of lock on to you, too. Because that's the whole thing about an erratic move like that, is, is if it looks and feels like they're just kind of swinging at the air next to you, it's really on you if you get hit in a lot of those cases. So thus, it feels kind of worse in a survival horror game when you get hit by an attack that... Feels like it isn't them aiming for you, but them just swinging in the air at you. <laughs> Welcome, Kirby. How dare you, Silos? I'm not the one wearing the hat. I'm not the one wearing the hat. I can't believe I'm getting attributed to Sean's behavior. True, I am beating women on your behalf. I'll take that out of context. That's a chicken! 
AI generated chicken. <laughs> I swear, if we see one AI generated picture in this game, I will only be annoyed. <laughs> I don't I don't think I would be able to tell or even really care. Uh yeah, I mean this is hello game. Can I You have too many Sometimes... bullets! Sometimes this game is really finicky about its interaction points. You have too many bullets! If you actually have too many bullets, like if you shot one into the ground, reloaded, and then could pick it up, I would be mad. No, surely not. 172 would be way too random a number for that to happen at. I think it's just a broken, broken. interaction point. Because this has happened before. This is the uh... worst it's been. But it has happened before where it's like not registering that I'm close enough to interact with it. Uh huh. See, see, at least you got the. Oh, there. Oh, I got it. I don't. I literally just wiggled around until it let me do it. Ain't that just the way? <sighs> Break that television. James hates televisions. <laughs> no, I want to get the good ending. I'm not breaking any more TVs. Mm -hmm. You can't make me. <laughs> okay. We now have unlocked a shortcut. Of sorts. Honestly, thinking of... Because I was, I was just thinking, I was like, they don't really put you in too many situations where you're fighting more than one enemy at the same time. They're kind of doing it. I actually have to give credit to Signalis for having the best shotgun in a survival horror game of that style because I feel like the sh shotgun is always intended to be just kind of a power weapon and Signalis might be the only one I can think of where it is actually, if you have multiple enemies in a room, it is your tool for that. Like, it it's not really a thing in Silent Hill or Resident Evil to have to deal with multiple enemies at the same time like that. Um, it's a thing in Silent Hill, just that it's usually, they don't, enemies are not good at sort of stacking up on you. It's usually easy enough to just back away and shoot them if, with the handgun if you need to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that I got everything around here. It didn't seem like there was any key item. Oh, I got the, the mold room. Okay. I'll, I also have to give credit to Signalis' uh, uh, encounter design with that in mind, though, because even in comparison to Resident Evil or Silent Hill, they don't put... They put more dudes in a room with you than either of those games do, in my opinion. <laughs> yes. There is a lot of enemy density in Signalis, and it's good for it. It's, it's actually good for it. Um... The, the enemy density is both precise and aggressive is really what makes you have to actually consider whether or not you're going to use the shotgun in, in some situations. There's all, they're also happy to put you in very tight quarters in that game. Yes. I mean, there's one room in particular that has like six dudes in it. I don't know a single room in Resident Evil or Silent Hill that puts six you in a room with six dudes. <laughs> I'd have to kill these nurses. Probably. Because I need to use this keypad. Who's to say, Sean? You don't even know. It could pause the game like the original. You don't even know if it's a diegetic interaction. What the weird... Gross... Shit that comes out of their head when you get a headshot. I do think the nurses have been pretty good for an enemy design, though they kind of just act like the zombies from Resident Evil 2, so. Where'd the other one go? Eh, she's around. She's clearly around close enough that you can smell her, but. Oh, uh, uh, she. Yeah, um, maybe she was just behind the. <laughs> Pillar? Maybe. 
I really don't know. I think she was just staring at the wall holding still. God, that I'm lunge kidding. looks so bad, actually. Yeah, it is so skatey. This is what I mean. They shouldn't. It shouldn't feel like they should track you. They they actually don't feel erratic for it. It's well, too... that's the whole way. That's the whole thing that I'm always saying about this combat system in this remake is that it's all synced animations, mm -hmm. and it sucks. It, yep. It shouldn't be that way. Yep. James shouldn't be that way, and neither should the enemies. I never came in here. I look, a fuckload of bullets. Well, I guess not a fuckload. Dang it, Sean. Why does every game after Bloodborne have to be Bloodborne now? It doesn't even do its horror as good. <laughs> I mean, I could ar I, I would argue that the combat of... Oh, it really was that easy, huh? Yeah. Look at that. that... Oh, I get it. That's... Huh. What? I guess it would have just been trial and error, but it it's weird how that note does tell you the order to do it in, even though it's... Yeah. yeah. But I, don't, I don't understand the confusion. My brain is easily confused. I don't know what to tell you, Sean. Okay. They fed me garbage and rotting meat, crawling with maggots. No, with Stick. maggot. Oh, there is S. Never mind. That's not a comma. My bad. I cannot read that text. I was going to say. <laughs> Those aren't letters. Just for you. Just so you'll stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> Thick with sinew. They make me bite down. The juice is red and yellow. Hit the back of my throat. I choke and I gag and I vomit. Till my throat is sore. An aching, throbbing tube of flesh. I push it all out. But I can still taste it. They bathe me in filth and blood and piss and bile. They gently rub human waste all over my body. My skin itches. It peels off like wet paper. I beg them to stop, but they don't listen. They're slightly ironic. It's the silence. Uh-huh. And then they lock me up with him. He's always there, closer each time. And the rot, it comes with him. It goes within. It becomes me. Well, that one was fun. That part made me hungry. That first part made me hungry. <laughs> Scatter, scram. Oh Get my God. Here, you. Sean, I know, I'm sure you've already mentioned this about the rotation, but they literally have a way to, ro they, 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 some of the notes you flip 180 degrees. The hell uh -huh. guys. You know, it would actually be kind of an impressive piece of tech to have a rotation where you actually rotate it in your hands like you see him rotating physically in his hand. You know, that that could have been an impressive piece of tech. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Instead, we got that. <laughs> what? Oh, they all what? went into the drain. One of them. One of them stuck on the wait, 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 look at the mop. Look at the mop. Ah, oh, you got away. There was one stuck on the wheels of the mop. <laughs> <laughs> what was the spooky music for? I don't understand. You did it. It's scary. Akira Yamaoka did the music for this, right? Is that a serious question? I don't actually know. I don't either. I'm assuming that he did, but because he does the music for all of these games, but I don't I honestly know. I don't think I've looked into it. It's my turn. Yep. Why? Yep. Why is this menu broken? What? What? Look, it's what? like highlighting multiple entries. Ah. Ah. What? Um, uh, Jesus, guys, we promise we're trying to like this game. <laughs> well, it saved um, somewhere. Okay. 
So I have mold remover for my moldy radiograph. Howard, Assuming don't that's even, all I need to do. Don't even have a mini game where you have to spray down the radiograph yourself. There's also still mold on it. There definitely is still mold on it, yeah. Okay, that was literally all that I had to do with that. Okay. Uh... I also don't like that it ch tells you things that you combine with things. Part yes, of the... I was just about to comment on how dumb it is that uh, like, you don't have to think at all about whether to combine something because it just straight up tells you if you can combine it or not. It's like, okay, right. what is the point of combining then? Yes. Why not? Why not just? Why not just have it that? Which is always weird. Like it. It. It's one thing to be like, well, then you have the opposite problem of adventure game logic, where you just take key items and smash them together when you don't know there what to aren't do. There are that many key items. But yeah, exactly. They they're usually pretty obvious. They usually do a good job about that. Plus, it's just fun to like believe that James is confused and decides to try to combine the <laughs> bent needle and the radiograph because he just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> mm hmm Okay, well, I can put this radiograph up, but I got the impression I needed two of them. I think? I don't know. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Have we been in here? Nope. Oh, darn. Oh, I gotta put the bracelet on. But where but I don't know go? which one. Yeah, okay. Oh, did they turn this memo about the three patients into a whole puzzle? Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way. Seems In that way. Interesting. I can't remember what the three... What was the three patients memo? What was that one about? It's the one that describes three patients who, like, match... Uh, I think it's that they match Angela, Eddie, and James in terms of their, like, behaviors. Oh. But it's not explicitly called out as being them. Mm -hmm. It's just a memo. It's a really good memo from the original. He gets Kiriyama, because the, the composer for the remake still. Okay, I assumed he was, but I was wasn't positive. Hey, Akira, we need you to make the music again, but like even better. And he said, sure. <laughs> and then he did. I think you need a button. I think there's a button. Seems this thing. like I need a button. It did that. Oh, okay. So I'm creating a combination. I do need a button. Presumably. Uh, okay. Um, so it seems like I don't have everything I need for this yet. Mm -hmm. I know there's three notes on the on the table, but yes, true. I haven't read those yet. Not that they, not that one. Well, oh god, damn it! Patient uh... number zero one three. Designation 295.3, move to L1. Initial symptoms, intense and unrelenting anxiety. Current diagnosis, symptoms have intensified into full-blown paranoia. Visual hallucinations, recommendation, increase medication. Can't be left alone, move to L1 for more closer monitor. Vision number 98, designation 298, room D1, initial symptoms, sensory delusions, current diagnosis, insomnia, refuses food, water, delusions persist, 
recommendations, force feeding and hydration, bathing required to be carried out in the treatment room, sleep medication, constant surveillance. Okay. So this isn't the three patients thing. This is just three new. unrelated patients. Uh-huh. Patient number 0050. Initial symptoms, sudden outbursts of aggression, visual and auditory hallucinations. Current therapy is considered effective, unprovoked outbursts decline, social interactions improve. What did I miss? Continue with the current therapy. Water has a calming effect. It used to. Okay. 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 Water has a calming effect. So, L1 was one of the rooms that we were in before. Yeah, I think that's where you got the... Uh... Ugh, the first bracelet. Interesting that it says it's all blocked off now. But yes, that is how I got the first bracelet in a sort of roundabout way. So the other rooms... Uh... So hi, Creeper. Blah, 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 C1... And D1. E1 nuts. How could you? I have no respect. <laughs> I have no respect. C1, that's right at the entrance to the... Oh no, that's right there. Okay, 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 okay. D1... The hell is, is D1? the one with the combination lock. Ah. Uh, Flora. <gasps> so D1 has the combination lock. I don't think there was a clue on the thing. Yeah, yeah it doesn't Nothing seem like on it. here would let me know what the combination is. So maybe I missed something in C1? Maybe? It's right here. Me, honey. Oh, this was the eye wall. This is the big eyeball. Doesn't seem like I missed anything. But it's an eyeball, so that tells me something. Uh-huh. C1 is for eyeball. So which patient was that? Patient number... 50... Eyeball. So patient oh. file number three is the eyeball. That doesn't work for me. There's like an eyeball icon, but I don't think it is an eyeball. Wait, about this one? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem eyeball enough to me. Okay, well, regardless, I don't have everything I need yet. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is mad at you? What could even possibly be mad at you? Something appears to have come down the hall. Yep. that way. I find it interesting that sometimes you can like get a back yeah, hit that just that kills them. Count as a... Freaking piece of shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a pop one. Okay, where do I need to go next? A great question. I don't have a lot of key items. I mean, I guess I can go put the x-ray up. You can go put the x-ray up. I... Yeah. X-ray viewer is the only thing I can think of that you can do immediately, because I don't know anything else that you do or don't have. I just, I felt like I needed two x-rays for that. But maybe I only need one. But you already have two x-rays. No, I don't. I only have one. Nah, there's two on the on the projector. 
All right, you. I'm fine. Um, um, dude, she's uh, getting comfortable. You stop that. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Just physics. Just a little just... physics beam. This is what the human body does look like. Um... What does that say on the left? School trauma from childhood. Uh oh. What? Maybe I don't understand what this puzzle is then. What? Yeah, are you supposed to are you supposed to overlay the racks like can you, you can also rotate interesting yeah Ugh. uber cat uber car not goober the car Yeah, I don't know what something like pop up kind of huh? not. I feel like I don't have everything for this yet. You think I saw one thing, but I still agree. I don't. I do. Oh, wait. Uh -oh. Well, shit. All right. How did I miss this? I don't know, Sean. That's a neat detail. Well, that that helps. Helps. Yeah, that, that's probably what you were missing. It's a human boy. It's the human. <laughs> there it is. How do you make a huge man? So, okay. If I need to match these up somehow. It still doesn't really make sense to me. Yeah. This isn't how Tetris works. Hmm. A real brain tickler, this one. The thing is, is I don't know if you need to match it up with the markings on the board or not. It feels right, but I don't, I don't actually know. Because there's only three markings on the board. Uh huh. That's the part that weirds me out. But yeah. like this clearly matches up. This has to be here. Yeah, that matches up. And then the other one, it looks like yeah, that one has an X. Like this. So the only other thing I can think is that those. I mean, there's the weird scratches be the only other thing. I didn't consider that, but... Yeah, I guess the scratches would overlap a little bit. Same way? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Oops. These out of here. So... Ah, dude, Silent Hill 2, why are you hitting us with this banger? 
Ain't nothing happened. It's like a strong horizontal line on one of those scratches. Uh-huh. Okay, so that definitely doesn't match. That can't even go. No strong horizontal line on either of these, though. Uh -huh. I wonder if I'm still missing one. Oh, no. The mysteries of the of the X-ray puzzle. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is there like a clue or a hint or anything? Not that I've seen. Hi, Gene. Hello, Gene. Hoy, Gene. Uh-huh. Ahoy, Gene. That feels like it might be have the whole, same horizontal as the left one, maybe? The, I guess it just depends how much they can overlap. Because that sort of matches somewhat. But then the top one doesn't. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be getting you information-wise. Well, not either. Maybe it's just for me to play around with. Uh-huh, it's just a fun little bit that they have you mess around with. I'd think that this might be the combination, but I'm like, where is the combination? I'm gonna come back to this. Because I don't think there was a note related to this either. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen one, that's for dang sure. Treatment room on the second floor. Small memo text to the x ray. Radiographs. One of the pictures was nowhere to be found. One of the pictures was nowhere to be found. So there was only one missing. Okay. Do you have all of the ones? Ah, so many notes. Hmm. Interesting. This one's a bit of a brain tickler. What a mystery. That one... Huh. I mean, we're confident about the skull and the... Yeah. The thing. Unless they just started there. But again, I'm like, what is the what what exactly is the goal we're looking for even with this? Uh, my guess is that something will happen if we put them in the right place. Something that we can't foresee. Uh huh. Not that or it's trying to give you maybe a clue. So I'm thinking I'm like what it maybe it's just trying to give you the numbers the overlaps don't feel like they make anything not that i can tell they do seem to interface with each other a little bit but like in really weird ways mm-hmm And that one doesn't even show up on anything, apparently. Uh, um, uh, mm, what? How did 
that work? We did get a glowy thing. I'm beginning to see the matrix. I'm getting some wicked deja vu from this for some reason. I've done it. Okay, 437... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It's five digits. Oh, 43712. Yeah. 43712. 522 40. We know how a padlock works, guys. Re oh my god, that wasn't a real padlock. Never mind. Everyone knows that it's right one, left two, right one. That's how I know a padlock. Do you think anybody uses padlocks anymore? Do, do, yeah. do the kid Whoa. do the kids even know what that what what that order is? <laughs> Boy, those bugs in your face look great. Uh, I wanted to get even more inside them. Oh, here we go. You here wanted go. more bugs in your eyes. How do you feel about the bugs in your eyes? They're fine. Okay, what am I doing in here? That's a great question. There's a lot of bugs everywhere. There's a lot of shit on the ground. There's... Really wet... Why is it making that noise? Well, that's why. We have wristband number two. Filthy. Filthy, filthy. Got a lot of poopy on that wristband. Alright. Well, that's All right. two down. We got a wristband, though. C1 is unaccounted for? We gotta figure out something with the eyeball. Really thought there would also be another key item in there that would get you closer to it, but uh, woo. my mistake, I guess. I also really thought they were gonna spawn another monster in here. Now why would they do that? That doesn't sound very Silent Hill. Yeah, it does. Silent Hill does that shit all the time. Oh yeah, I guess they do multiply enemies every now and then. Yeah, anytime you get a key item or a major progress, it has a chance that it might... Not to say that it's a percent chance, just that like sometimes they do it. Yeah, the percent chance is based on a first playthrough, Sean. There's always a percent chance on your first playthrough that something will happen, because you don't know when it fucking is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's a percent chance in the sense that there's a percent chance that the designers decided to put one there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I really don't know. Was there an interaction point on C1 in that eyeball? I don't think there even was. I think that's where you got the bent, the bent needle from. Oh. Uh, I think. No, I got the bent needle from the teddy bear. Was that oh, in right. C1? No, I don't think so. You got something out of the eyeball, I thought. What if you hit it with your wrench? With your with your pipe? Dang it. Dang. I'm actually surprised you got hit noises out of that. No, I need to combine the bent needle with something. Okay, okay. Where have we not been yet? Let's start from the bottom. Okay. Been in uh, all oh, the garden. The... And all of that. Haven't been in the shower room yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's where we need to be. There's still places to go check. Wasn't there a word about somebody being out in the garden or some shit? You're some like, shit. Oh, oh holy ho. If you want to find him, you'll find him out in the garden or something. We're looking for one more patient, so... Well, I've enjoyed the hospital pretty well so far. Yeah, it's been good. It 
be on them to fuck up the hospital. The hospital's pretty fucking good in the original, too. You just can't leave a good thing well enough alone. Mm, who, me? Was that yep. supposed to be a dig, dig at me, or...? Mm-hmm. Oh. But I don't... Didn't realize I had the stoke... Stoke? Stoke in my hand, and I didn't realize I was poking it with the stoke, and... You've Sorry. been poking this game for a little niggly shit the whole time we played it. What I, what what do you want me you hitting it with the piggly wiggly? I'm sorry. <laughs> do, 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 do. Really yeah. happy. Okay. Okay. Cause I went into the doctor's lounge and I never went the other way. That makes sense to me. This doesn't open. Well, it's locked. <laughs> okay. Or well, it's that blocked was that. from the. Yeah, it's blocked from the inside, maybe. There looks like there's a door on the other side of the day room, though. You mean this day room? Yeah, that day room. Oh, we haven't been in there. I feel like we would have remembered that. I would have remembered that. Yes. Oh, ragdoll physics. Ragdoll physics are always silly and fun. Oh, goody. A crack to title through. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Are you making noises at me? I'm not trying to. I'm awakey, I promise. I'm not standing up to stretch my legs. How could you? Because for some reason my body is fighting for dear life. I should have probably gotten some... Co oh, look! Drain puzzle. We all love the drain puzzle here. Mm -hmm. Apparently I can just go. Yeah. Okay, we've got one. Probably more than one, but I only see one. I only see one so far. Also, was that a bracelet in the drain or an ear? It looked like an ear. Who's to say? Waiting for your switch to charge back up so you can play, keep playing Sturdy. Ah, they what? They're, oh my god, this is awful. Jesus, I'm outie. You're telling me carrots are not natively in Stardew Valley? That seems like a complete... What? What is more farm than carrots? I'm surprised carrots are not in... Stardew Valley by default. It's surprising. Crunchy, crunchy. God, they vomit so much. They're also so jabbery. It makes such yeah, squishy noises. Uh huh. They make goblin noises. They're not, you... the most... They're not the most profitable. I mean, carrots are the bog standard vegetable, right? Like, they're just the vegetable that can give someone something to crunch through. Carrots are for crunching. That's it. That's all I know carrots are for. Wouldn't you agree, Sean? Where did that... Carrots are good for crunching. Come on, game. What the hell? What am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to even do about any of that? I straight up can't see what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, well that's any effect. It'd be really at least. cool if I could like shoot this thing from the root from outside here. You can kinda see I it. Can see at all. 
and it's like so do you need a key to open that door from the inside i don't know he didn't seem like he thought he could open it which seems really silly to me could always just blast him with a shotgun if i can see him i think you hit her oh no seems like it Definitely seems. Yeah. Yep. Nice shot. Burr. Nice ass. Burr. Ampule. Is that all Ampule. that's in here? So mad. Oh, now you can figure out how to open it. Of course you can. He's not under duress. Okay, well, that was a waste of everything. Are you, are you buddy? He seemed confused. She was like, nah, I don't wanna. Nah, I don't wanna. Well, James? Um, hello? James? Cool, thank you, game, for putting me in a sync animation that put me in the wrong place and then got me hit. Uh huh. Do not like the way the synced animations work in this game. They seem quite awkward. Vicious bullets. I actually don't know how many shotgun shells you have. Not that many. I think I'm at six now, plus the ones that are in the gun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's some good water. That's some good gray water. We love the gray water. I forget that that kid freaks out about gray water in Gate Part 1. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like a whole thing. He's He thinks he's gonna die. Uh, it's not that he thinks he's gonna die necessarily, so much that he <laughs> thinks it's gross. Medical tubey. Medical. Medical doob. Medical boob. Please do not booby on the medical. These nurses have words for you, Sean. Oh, oh hi. Buddy. Uh... He just hit you on the side of the head, too. It was me. Mm -hmm. So glad that they decided to make those jump scares. Mm -hmm. it's so cool and fun. I'm scary. So good for... Hello? What? Was ist das? He. Das ist ein key. I can't remember the German word for key. I mean, the word you need is a lock anyway. That's a. What's. What. Uh, the German word for lock is clearly anti key. <laughs> mm hmm. Wouldn't a key be more of an anti lock? I mean, that's what you call it when you find the key, is you call it the anti lock. She, what you found there was the anti-key. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Man. Well. I guess I don't have... There was the drain over there. Yeah, well, I mean, that's my next stop now that I've got the two for the thing. Pool is something. He sure does think pool is something. He oh, really to... wants the pool to be something. You have to drain the pool. Yeah. Somehow. Well, with the key that I don't have, clearly. 
How is a key gonna drain a whole pool, John? Um, He's... <laughs> that's right. Maybe? No? What is this? Probably missed something. Another, Another incident. incident with... Oh, go for you it. go. F okay, fine. Another incident with uh, 0050. He got out of the pool and made a break for the garden, cutting himself wide open in the process. Thank God I was still here. He was completely manic, screaming. Had the odd, odd orderlies. Odd orderlies hold him down. Barely managed to stitch him up. He's back in his room now, sedated. Okay. All right. All right. Get in there. Uh, that seems way less. Wow, that would have worked so much better with some hair, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe they changed it because they didn't want to animate him using hair to do that, which is kind of nonsensical. <laughs> Howards, though, they didn't use the hair. Cool key. What's funny is you mentioned the hair. You last time you mentioned them being cowards for not having the ha uh, the hair puzzle. Mm-hmm. But they kind of stand have by it. the hair. Yeah, I was gonna say they kind of have the hair puzzle. It just doesn't have the hair. And they're cowards. Mm -hmm. That group. That now we is get a bracelet for something. Yeah. How do you know? It could be anything. There could be a lying figure right there. Uh, yeah, I really was expecting that lying figure to move too. I. I, I I think it's... I don't think it's gonna move. That looks kind of cool. Yeah. But game... What? Why do you think I need this tutorial? I'm turning tutorials off. I'm far enough into the game. Surely I've learned everything I need to learn at this point. Mm -hmm. Uh... HUD... Uh... Where? Oh, interface. I, under, I was gonna interface. say that or... Accessibility might be it, too? Uh, My god... I know you can turn these off. It gave me the option to do so. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Um... Radical? Ammo, all splatter. Where? Where? Oh, where? Don't think it would be here. Language and texts? Apparently not. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god. Okay. It's because it's text, Sean. There it is. You want to turn off uh, tips too, on. maybe? No, I don't think so, because that's just these. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just the things in the bottom, right? <sighs> Brasslet. Brasslet, indeed. I about to say, I really was expecting those to move. Nope, just somebody there. Joke's on them, they don't even have hands to be able to open doors. Oh god. Be chugging. You do be chugging. I'm gonna chug some water. I'm gonna chug some water. Wow. Wow. Ah. Out here being healthy and shit. What the fuck? Ryan. What the fuck indeed. Also, is the clue to this puzzle from that fucking video recorder saying trial and error because I hate that. I refuse to believe that. Okay, um... Uh, 
not hard to move him around. But that tape recorder didn't really give you much else of a hint. I'm trying to think. There can't be that many combinations. It's only three bracelets. Yeah, honestly, I was like... My instinct is to try to solve it. But... In the time that it takes to do that, I can probably just brute force it. Unless there's some other thing going on here with this. Oh, just, there's this thing, but it feels like it's missing a, a, a thing, an input. No it items. Is. Hmm. Oh, I can turn uh, oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, it's a. S Cipher? Or something? Okay, so... What? There are numbers on it. There sure are. Are they different numbers on each one? Yes. 45. Two? What do I need all these numbers for? Okay, so does this relate to this somehow? Uh, feels like it, but it feels like you still need a thing for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's numbers one through nine, and this is to tell me which number is what, I think. Maybe. Maybe? That's a 71. But, oh, uh, wait. But also you can change the order of the bands. Mm -hmm. Unless that doesn't matter? You certainly can change the order of the bands. I think the order of the bands would have to be the order of the patients. So, uh... You remember which is which? The pool one is... The blood one, blood stained one, I believe. Yeah, and this one is the. Uh, God, it doesn't tell me what their names are. Yeah, this one is filthy, and this one is bloody. I don't remember what it called this one. Scribbly, I guess. Uh huh. The scribbly bracelet. Okay, 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 okay. Am I doing on health? Yeah, you're doing okay. You're not worse for wear. Let's take a look at the map again. Make sure that we've covered our bases here as best we can. Still can't get into the northeast wing. Sound no. of hit everything else. Oh, there is seemingly a door in the shower room that you might have missed. I think sometimes it just doesn't show you the shit for the sub rooms, because it says I haven't been in security either, but we can check. Game. Game? I think... Oh, okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, okay. Uh-huh. I always get this weird vibe these days whenever something is made in Unreal where you can feel, really feel if something was made in Unreal to make it pretty or make it stable. <laughs> Is that mean to say? No, it's pretty accurate, honestly. Okay, so... Oh. Yeah, see, this is just this. Oh, but it did but... think I hadn't been in there, even though I definitely had. Weird. So let's do the same thing with security room. Make sure. I mean, I think you have everything you need for- well, no you don't, we're literally missing a button. 
I'm gonna say it was like you have everything for that puzzle. No, technically you don't have everything for that puzzle. Probably. Probably. Pop possibly. Possibly. You touch all the sides of this room. Go through that door one more time. I was gonna say it was like. Oh no, it's the thing down there. It's like, we've definitely been over here. Uh. Definitely was oh, in yeah. this room too, though. Talked about how there wasn't a shotgun in there. At least Laura didn't take the shotgun. That would, it, but this time it marked it. What the fuck? It's just, yeah, unknowable. Maybe I didn't have the map yet. Maybe? Okay. Um, but that's everything here. Yeah, I don't see anything else there. Ugh. What the fuck? That was weird. Okay. C5 here. has a big M on it. I don't know what that means. Maria. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we want to. We don't want to go in that room. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've been everything everywhere on that. Good there. Or yeah. everything I can do there. I still don't have the key to hydrotherapy, but it seems like that might be what we're gonna get. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm just solving this dang puzzle. Yeah. Maybe you just have to deduce that whatever the combination is can't use that button, maybe? Possibly. <laughs> I haven't tried to use the elevator recently. What about it? Uh, uh, uh nope. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. Seems like there's nothing. Wait. From the basement? Where does that other... If you look at the basement again? Where does that... There's a staircase on the far left, and... If you go to the other floors, can you get to that staircase? You can, but it looks like it might be blocked going down to the bottom. I don't remember there being a, another floor there. Could try that staircase. That'd be the only other thing I can think of. I don't think it'll be in the basement, though. Because the basement was like the pre-Maria thing. It's before this entire area puzzle. I really don't hey. think there's anything in the basement. You fell down there earlier to find a couple more things. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, it's blocked. You found one of the bracelets down there. No, oh, I fell down to the first floor. Oh, right. Uh-oh, you're making James tired. This is, this is actually a detail from the original that um, I really liked about its uh, running mechanic that Seemingly, it doesn't look like it's a thing in this game. Uh, uh, there's a the running mechanic is actually kind of akin to uh, the way it's handled in Hunt Showdown, in that you can run for as long as you want, but eventually there's a point where James will like slow down his sprint if you sprint for too long. I've I've always liked that detail. It's a good way to handle a sprint like that, especially in a survival game. That's just eight, four, five, five, four, eight, five, eight, nine, seven. I'm wondering if it has to do with the number that's not on it. I don't know what else uh -huh. the significance could be. 
I mean, it matches up with, with the line on the hand. Ones that I saw were, what, 45... 9271. So those are the ones that pop out the most. Yeah. Sort of what I'm thinking. But... Try switching them around now. Do they like have a different like cuz it looks like some of them are faded. No, it doesn't. Oh, 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 uh, okay. Uh, oh, mm, okay. It was just that easy, Sean. I guess so. Now you're gonna go into the director's storage room and you're gonna get a button. <laughs> hey, show, look, a button. <laughs> show did. Ah. Um. What? No. Don't do that. Oh, I see. This is a fun <laughs> puzzle. I like this. I'm not going to say anything. What do you think is the... Uh, I was about to say something that made me go, I should just play Tunic, shouldn't I, Sean? I was about to be like, what is the best cipher you've seen in a video game? <laughs> yeah, Tunic is head and shoulders above anything else in that department. I was going to say, I'm like, I'm a, little, I'm a little surprised that there isn't that many, like, really good examples of ciphers in, like, Silent Hill or anything. I can't think of any, like, truly standout ones. Alert, maybe? <laughs> no, Alert is not even really a cipher. It, it fooled me, Sean. That's not what a cipher means. Okay. Uh, what is that? 9245 what? Uh, um, 924571. Yep. Which means now you need to... Okay. Illuminati. Uh, leggy. Forty one is boy and the funny peace sign. What are the, what are these symbols from? I actually don't know what they're from. Illuminati's not on here. Illuminati's when you got Illuminati's on here now. Uh -huh. And then it was boy meets peace, and then no, the last I one. I think the last one was this. No, nope, nope. not quite. Nope, not quite. All right. It can be, Kirby. Kirby, you missed the fucking puzzle last week that had Sean and I freaking screaming. <laughs> Wait, why'd you say it was peace sign? Did not? 41. Yeah. 45. 45? You oh, asshole. Shit. I'm sorry. I trusted I you. It, I thought it was 41, not 45. You bastard, man. I can't believe he's so mad at me, guys. I didn't even mean to. I didn't even mean it. Oops. What are these from? What are these symbols from? Because they're often popular and stuff like this. There was another game we saw with these in them. Uh, these are just like random, as far as I can tell. I don't think there's any particular correlation there. I need to actually look at these remember them this time because now your lies have infected my brain okay oh they're greek script <laughs> apparently are they they don't look like greek to me they are derived from contractions in greek script of the greek names of these planets namely thoros 
for male and phosphorus for Venus, so just kind of assumed that the like all the other icons were that kind of stuff too. So my bad. <laughs> But I feel like they all, they, they, they're always like, because you were like playing a game the other day that had these exact same images, including Leggy Guy. So they must originate from the same thing. I just don't know what that group of symbols is. I love stop clicking buttons on the keyboard, please. Wait, what? What the heck? Okay, let's do this very patiently. 92. Mm -hmm. That's Illuminati legs. Yeah, this does Definitely it. start with Illuminati legs. Does not help me. All video games should make the player want to scream occasionally. It <laughs> depends. Gotcha, Creeper. Get good food. 45. 71. 71 is... Oh, I did is, the last one backwards. It's evil... Evil girl and what? Evil... Yeah, evil girl... The demon girl... There you go. Hydrate man. Hydrate man. Rooftop key. Oh, I forgot about this part. I wonder how they're going to handle this. Hmm. Sean, I bet they're going to put a cutscene for it, which is going to kind of actually suck. <laughs> There's a cutscene in the original. Not initially. I think, if I remember correctly, you like get up onto the rooftop and the cutscene doesn't happen until you realize Pyramid... Or, like, Pyramid Head doesn't even like introduce himself and the cutscene doesn't happen until he literally shoves you off of it. <laughs> like, you go up to the rooftop and you're like, there's nothing up here. What am I doing up here? Why can't I leave? Oh god, Pyramid Head. <laughs> Evil girl, demon girl, hydrate man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are the three genders, you're right. I'm trying to decide how I felt about that puzzle. I think it was okay. It was fine. But... It's just kind of put things in the right order. Yeah. Didn't it do is a, little... a lot for me, but it was fine. Yeah, it was a little... I, I was a little frustrated that I was right. You literally just had to trial and error because the <laughs> clue they gave you was you need to use trial and error. <laughs> yeah. And then it just locked you in. It didn't... It, it's not even that you knew that you did anything right. Well, I guess the hand opened, so... I have acquired shoot gun shells. There's only so many directions you can put a bracelet on a hand. The controller vibration is going out of control right now, I need you to know. Like in a helpful or interesting way, or just kind of like... No, maybe... it's just like going like crazy and I don't, don't really know why. Well, I guess that's where I'm meant to go. Don't do it, Sean. It's a trap. I mean, we all know it's a trap, but... <gasps> we know what's about to happen. Oh. May 9. Rain. Stared at the window. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th. Still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if they, if I didn't already have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic and weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? 
May 12th. Rain, as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. The doctor came in today. He said that I'll be released soon, that it's time to go home. I should be happy, but I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. It feels like something's about to happen, like the last gasp of air before the plunge. But deep down, I know it's too late to turn back. That seems about the same. I remember that. I remember it being similar to that. Yeah, I don't remember the exact text, but that seems... Hi! What are you doing, that buddy? Overly sudden. They tricked you, Sean. They did. They tricked us. That's not where that's supposed to happen. They changed it. <laughs> they even fake you out. And you know what? Good on yeah. them. They fake you out. You think that you have to go for the fence. And instead, he gets you there. <laughs> probably hurt a lot more because you fall into the padded room in the original. And probably didn't hurt so bad. I still can't get over that the official name for Pyramid Head is Red Pyramid Thing. I've always known him as Pyramid Head. Everyone always called him Pyramid Head. Game calls him Red Pyramid Thing. I mean, the game calls him a bunch of things, but Red Pyramid Thing is the most like direct name it has in the game. Mm-hmm. But I've always known him as Pyramid Head. It's just so weird to me. Yeah, that's what everybody calls him in real life. And everyone knows James is not a part of real life. That's why he's wrong. <laughs> he doesn't even know the name of his own demons. <laughs> On that that's not creep. That's not spoilers, Sean. It'd actually be spoilers to talk more in depth of what Pyramid Head might or might not be. <laughs> Oh my that god. bullet creep. I love this. I love Silent Hill 2. And now I just realized that one of the reasons... I mean, there's a lot of things in... in uh, they're just straight up... Uh, uh, creature designs in... Oh, good. Oh, but you can't read it? Ooh, bad game. <laughs> I, I loved being able to read that part. Mm -hmm. Hey, out there, if you liked the this enjoyed this game and liked the story and wanted to know what the hell was with all those weird parts where you just stare at shit, go play the original. Those are good parts of the original game. <laughs> Some of them are. Yeah. Laura? I really didn't expect you to be the one between the two of us who's, like, completely biased against this game. No uh, reason. Why do you keep running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? I just do. What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No. I won't, please, just... I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry. Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Let go! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I gotta get. Laura. It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. 
<laughs> in there. <laughs> Do you like her smile? <laughs> <laughs> and you should know me by now, Sean. Apparently I have no biases until I have all of the biases. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure this is where you left it? It's in the back. Behind an old pipe. Okay, wait, wait here. Should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. See, this scene just doesn't even work with this new characterization of Laura. I guess I won't. Like, she doesn't come across as bratty, she comes across as, like, deranged. Fart face. Please open the door. There's something in here. There there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! What is with the audio, by the way? Because you're hearing her through the door. Oh, that seemed ineffective. It did, in fact. Do they have a weak point now? Uh, that's a great question. Because, yeah, you do just kind of shoot them in the original game. It would make sense to give them a weak point. Uh, Alright. Yep. Uh, you shoot his toes. You miss. Uh, I'm trying. Knowing the name of your own demon is how you beat them, that's true, and that's why he can't figure it out, because he can't say mm. Pyramid Head. <laughs> Not loving this, like, peekaboo thing. Yeah. It's also very silly, because he does the, like, giant swing every time afterward. No idea if that's doing anything. Okay. Well, let's... God damn it, game. I mean, that's something that makes this fight scary, right? Is it's like... You don't know what's going on. You don't know if you're even doing anything right. Yeah, I mean, that's sort of Silent Hill 2 boss design in general. Mm. I don't mind that I don't know how to beat it. I just... I find the... The like popping in and out thing kind of silly but oh that felt like it had more purchase maybe maybe he is just kind of destroying the roof it seems maybe you have to wait for him to break the roof enough that you can see him through the roof that'd be silly we'll find out oh i hit dodge Great. Also, there were two of them, weren't there? I remember there being two of them. Yes, Isaac, there's more than one in the original. Can I shoot his wrist? He's got like a bloody wrist where he's hanging on. Maybe? That feels so fast, though. Oh, well. Yep, that's how do you. Um. Don't know if beating him to death is the right move once I've got him there. Yeah. Ceiling, big dick. I like that you can, like, just barely see him up there. 
Okay, now this. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, you prick. You can do that now, I guess. Oh. You can do that now, I guess. That's kind of scary. Uh-huh. Let me do it on health. Uh, not amazing. I can probably take one more hit before I heal, though. Oh, you're gonna pull me. I mean, Shit. given that- Well, I want to use a syringe. Uh, and the syringe, I think, is a full heal. Given that it looks like his... Chain, like, his cage parts are off on his sides, maybe you can just, yeah. You can just do this, yeah. I'm whipping you have enough. next time I... Maybe next time you knock him down. Yeah. But Woo! Matt! <laughs> wrong button. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the quick swap buttons. Now. Whoa! Oh. Well, there's a spider now. go back to the ceiling. Oh no, they didn't go back to the ceiling. Woo! Oh dude, now it's the boss from Signalis! Are we done here? We are not done here. No, it doesn't seem that way. I have no clue if you're doing something right, but... I think you are. It's, it's like making a... squishy noises. Not the map. <laughs> Don't let it scream from its butthole, Sean. at least a fun fight. Yeah. I feel like they latched on to the wrong part about this design, but... James. What, with the spider legs and everything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hanging bodies are... Oh, hey, look, it's the Gertie scene from Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> James. James. Like that other world sequence. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. I like that. Oh, good. They erased everything off the map for you. That's so nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> they dunked it in. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. They dunked it in uh, marker removing juice. That's what it's called. What well, what would you say is the big the biggest missed um not missed opportunity, I guess. Mission number 3141 designation blah 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 room number is marked out initial symptoms hyper focus current diagnosis they can be fixed. Recommendation stop at nothing. No turning back now. Okay. Okay. Thanks game. 
what 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 was the biggest what what is the thing that they changed the most about that boss that kind of recontextualizes it that you would say uh i mean the spider legs like i said if we're talking about how it's presented aesthetically and thematically the taking the metallic element of it and turning it into oh it's a big scary like mechanical monster is kind of feels like kind of missing the point that it's meant to be a body on a gurney and that that's yeah. what's scary about it yes not that that was a bad fight like i want to be clear i liked that fight more all on the whole and it was definitely better to play than the original was uh-huh because the original is just kind of a clusterfuck yeah, you just are kind of in a room, shooting at some shit on the ceiling, being like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, like, aesthetically, thematically, it feel, it's kind of goofy. Mm -hmm. Which is not ideal. Yeah. But it's fun. And, you know, I'll take it. Yeah. I'm not Please. fucked up about that specific boss as a thematic element in this game. And the joke's on me, I guess. There were two of them. <laughs> and see, he even got sent to the other world on a gurney, just like that sequence. You know, I, I was going to mention that earlier. No wonder why I also like some of the creature de design from... Uh, Jacob's Ladder is also, yeah, Py Pyramid Head is kind of in that movie too. There is a sequence where there is a a creature that is very reminiscent of, of Pyramid Head in the same kind of... Is there's there? a guy... Uh, I remember the guy, the guy with the bag on his head being kind of buff and what he was wearing. Like, I remember that guy being very upsetting. That's who I think of if I was to think of something that inspired Pyramid Head from that movie. I don't remember what you're talking about, sorry. You're good. I mean, that whole gurney scene is just straight up... Silent Hill has ripped off that entire gurney scene multiple yeah, times. Yeah, that whole gurney sequence is straight up reenacted in full in this mm -hmm. game. In multiple games, yeah. Nice. Yeah, she can stab you now. That's dangerous. Doesn't she know that, that knives are worse than lead pipes, though? <laughs> Is that a joke about Angela's knife again? Oh, what the Maybe. fuck? Maybe. You stopped that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that I like that. Such a cool move. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what am I stuck on here? I'm all stuck. If it hasn't been made clear, everybody, if you think that this is interesting or if you've played Silent Hill and really enjoy it, you, you kind of owe it to yourself to watch Jacob's Ladder at some point. It's kind of criminal that that movie doesn't... I've never even heard of that movie before I heard somebody else talk about how Silent Hill was inspired by it. <laughs> it is quite good. Aw, oh, they need to clean their toilets. Ah, oh, you have a friend. You can't stop. You can't keep doing this. I'm shooting you just because I'm angry at you for existing. Uh huh. What's funny is they didn't really do that before. Like they kind of hid before, but not every single one. It was actually kind of rare when they did that. I feel like most of the time you would see them just in the environment, just like any other enemy. Um. And occasionally you would see them trying to hide from you, but it was kind of more of a gimmick. Or not a gimmick, a, a, the opposite. It was something you rarely saw. God. That fucking one. The yeah, nurse I just is... need to learn that it's not... It's all... It's straight up, like, Dark Souls... Or, not Dark Souls. It's, like, straight up synced animations, 100%. Like, mm -hmm. The positioning does not matter at all. It's only the timing, and I need to get that into my head, because that's... Half the time when I get hit, it's because I was just like, oh, I'm at a safe distance, and that's uh -huh. just not how this game works. And, they, and then they lock onto you and lunge at you from half the room away.
Honestly, that's kind of why even at its best, Souls games don't actually really have synced animations, right? Like... Yeah, I mean, Dark Souls doesn't really do synced animations at all. That was just me grabbing the wrong thing. Because I was thinking about timing, and I was like, it's timing-based like Dark Souls, which is sort of true, but not mm. really very good. Not very illustrative of what I was trying to say. Uh, I know which one you were going for. Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole thing that uh, one, of, one of my gripes with Dark Souls 2 is unless you are backed away from them far enough, if you try to dodge, uh, it does not matter what direction you dodge because if they do an attack, they will just track you until they hit you if you don't time your dodge correctly. <laughs> and I mean, a lot there were enemies that did that in Dark Souls 1 too. I'm like, name one. Uh, I actually can't think of one. I mean, infamously, the Black Knights with the, like, gigantic heavy weapons had crazy tracking. Like, they would just spin all the way around to hit you from behind them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I forgot that they would do that. Are we going to have the baby stairwell? Ah, oh, you can't even go in the stairwell. What's funny is overall, even though they did change the layout, I feel like this feels much closer to the original um, hospital. Oh, how we danced, arms flailing, our bodies in perfect synchrony, and the music played. But in any dance, there comes a time one must take the lead, and the music got louder and louder, pounding, piercing, and then silence. The procedure! <gasps> No! He's tied to a chain? No, he's not even tied to a chain. The chair is tied to a chain. We'll deal with that in a minute. Uh huh. Ah, jeez. Somebody put chains. chains in your brain. You got chains in your brain. That's not where those go. Yeah, it definitely feels like there should be a door there based on the way it looks on the map. I guess it's saying this? Also, I don't know why you made an effort noise there. Got really upset or hurt by something, and I don't know what. <laughs> Okay. It's really hard to tell when he's gonna lock on properly and when he's not. Uh huh. I don't like fighting this version of the nurses. I am gonna. Yeah. Eh, I am gonna shoot you. They seem to be much more aggressive. I don't know if that hit you or not, actually. They seem to have much more health and be much more aggressive. I don't think they have more health, they're just more aggressive. Also, I want to be clear, because uh, I know that the wording may not have been... I mean, I don't like fighting them in the... In the sense of just like, I'm gonna shoot them, not in the sense of like, I think there's anything wrong with the way that they're behaving. Come on now, Sean. You would what listen. We don't have any criticisms of this. Uh, you broke the instrument of destruction, so now that's. Why? Huh. I don't Why know. did I do that? We'll find <sighs> out. Probably need a new arm for it, it seems. It would seem that you well, would need to put something in the eye, is what it is saying. Like your thumbs. Oh, hi, friend. Hey, this is the first one that isn't just hide eight. You know, I liked that. I wish they would behave more like that. I mean, it just went to hide around the corner. Probably. 
See? Oh, you mean like right there? What's funny is if they did do something organically like that, I think they would actually be more interesting if they like ran away and hid if you did too much damage to them or something. It's not really what they do. Mm-hmm. They hit you with their leg arms. Hello, friend. It is weird. I feel like in the original also, when they were holding still, they didn't make the radio squelch. I vaguely remember that. Nice! Wow, you really flipped her. You really flipped her shit. Really flipped her off. Uh-huh. Make the make the frames come back. Oh, James. James is feeling good. James is feeling all right. I don't even remember when the last time you saved was. Uh, the beginning of Otherworld. Well, that's not too bad. You have that for you. There it goes. That's so weird. The scariest part of the game, your frames disappear sometimes, for seemingly no mm -hmm. reason. I'm assuming that it's like a shader issue or something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like normal shader stuttering, but I don't know. I didn't even realize that was a thing. It's really weird the way it just like starts happening all of a sudden and then goes away. Mm hmm. That's, That's fun. cute. It's popping! It's squishy and it's popping! Back on that 200 grind. Uh-huh. You almost had it, too. You were like... Don't you dare... 20 or 30 away. What's funny is we saw a stronger version of the lying figures and of the nurses. Did, did we not see a stronger version of these guys? I guess yeah. not. Yeah. Not gonna deride this game for not being so formulaic as to have exactly one upgrade of every enemy. I just didn't remember if we'd seen one or not. Hey, Speaking I'm toning it back figure. now. Now that you've pointed out that I was being obnoxiously biased. <laughs> You're a squirrely one. He is. He's spry. I, honestly. Oh. There you go. What? What? That was bullshit. He leaked all over your face. He gleeked all over your face. Oh my god, the lying fle the, the lying figures definitely gleek. Hmm. I hate that. I dislike it a lot, Sean. I dislike it a lot, Sean. Jeez. Oh. Sometimes. Goddamn. This is one of those games where I sometimes just get lazy, where I, I don't want to do it right, so I just spam and then get hurt because I'm not playing properly. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you telling me that they have roll catching in this game, Sean? <laughs> uh, kind of, honestly. <laughs> Oh, 
I do need to start there. being a little bit more careful though, because I am starting to actually go through my war chest of healing. Mm-hmm. Means you have to buckle up more. I have to actually focus? Fuck that. Hit things with your gun, hit things that are around. What is happening in this room? Yeah, there's a couple things. I see a couple things. I see one over there. Yeah. I saw Fight one to the me. left, too. She's just kind of confused, honestly. She doesn't even know why you did that. Fight me! Now she's mad at you. Ooh, that first like one. That. Yeah, that first one, she was like, I don't. What are you. Why are you even. <laughs> Bonk, bonk. Uh, she got confused for a second. The injury texture effects are actually really nice, too. I like stuff like that, though. I always appreciate it when you can actually see battle damage. God, I don't know if you've played more of the Dead Space remake, but I will admit that... Whoa, oh, hello. you piece of shit. Why is the they... radio not happening? There's two enemies in this room. Uh, I hear it, but it's, it's really so quiet. Yeah, I was going to say, I hear it, but it's really quiet. Fuck me. It also makes me sad that something just doesn't matter in this game. They've yeah. included it for some reason, but it seems to just be fan it makes service. people better. Uh-huh. I didn't take damage, or didn't take much damage anyway. I have to, I have to hand it to the Dead Space remake. You sure find some, you sure can can make the necromorphs in that game in uh, uh into some new shapes. I'll put it that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Stop it. I don't know if you got far enough to get the Force Gun, but the Force Gun does some really nasty things to the Necromorphs in that game. <laughs> so. It's always a nice feature when it can when it when it can appear in a game, and yet it feels like oftentimes a lot of games don't really think about like diegetic damage. I still maintain it's one of the main reasons why I even liked that god-awful dinosaur fighting game is the di diegetic damage uh, that happened in your fights. I loved that you would get more fucked up as the fight went on. No, yeah, that's all, fair. You get all bloody and gross. Oh, good. I got Key of Bliss. Ah, oh, good. Good thing to call Time that to thing. jab that in the man's eye. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was supposed to go. Oh, I guess it was. Was it the eye or the nose? I don't know, man. I don't eye. know my. It was the eye. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the eye for him. I just mean like in real life for that very awful oh, instrument you just know. picked up. It would go in the nose. It would go in the nose. I mean, it could go through your eye as well. Yeah. But the nose is the traditional place to put that. <laughs> yeah, that's where that goes. <laughs> Yeah, normally the nose is where you would put that, um, just, uh, just, if the doctor brings it out, all you have to say is, oh, I know where that's going. <laughs> and I'm so glad that modern medicine at least understands that maybe putting a big metal rod in your brain and sifting it around isn't very good for you. I'm glad we figured that one out. We did at least get to the point where we're not intentionally brain damaging people anymore. At least not that I can tell. How about this? Unintentionally brain damaging people because we don't realize that we're causing brain damage and thinking that it'll fix people. How about that? I mean, only so much we can do about that. Uh, Where's this? I did. I, I I've been having a weird, like, weird stint of headaches that seemingly just pop up only on Sundays, and out of nowhere, I was like, "Fuck it, why not?" I'm gonna look this up on the internet. 
because that's okay, always a good not? idea. I'm gonna give myself a lobotomy. <laughs> kind of. Uh, I might as well have. I felt like I did reading it, and it was like, oh, d there's a diagnosis for this. It's called, like, weekend headaches or something. And they, like, gave a bunch of, you know, here's some uh, symptoms, here's some prescriptions for how to deal with it. And one of them was self-medicate, take headache medicine. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, that's, that's a really good idea for what seemingly you've described as just... Oh, you could get a headache just because it's the weekend and you had a really long, stressful week, and it's like, mm. <laughs> mm. I feel I always feel very uh, uncertain about that because it's like self uh, the painkillers I try to avoid just because I don't know. Painkillers are necessary for me to live, uh -huh. unless I've been told that it would it would make it possible for me to not feel like my head is going to explode. I, I always feel antsy about it. I don't but have Sean, the luxury of feeling antsy about it. What, but Sean, what if I, uh, what if I undergo, like, a really bad surgery and then I have to be prescribed painkillers, but they don't work because I took too many painkillers? I mean, you wouldn't be taking the same kind of painkillers for prescription strength surgical recovery as you would for <laughs> they're not gonna give me over the counter not, headache medicine they're not gonna give me children's tylenol for for after i get my gallbladder removed or something <laughs> believe it or not they probably won't <laughs> they aren't just gonna i mean headaches me. are weird because it's like the brain is so complicated, there's just so many factors that can cause headaches. Mm -hmm. There's basically no self-diagnosing a headache other than just, yep, my head hurts. Yep, <laughs> my head ache. How I've did blinked. I fuck this up? What did you get from the eyeball? Did you get a key? I got a key, which I, mean, I think... The issue. I was gonna say there's a door upstairs, and then there was a ladder. The ladder takes me back up here, which has no locked door. Uh, the stairs? I think you have to go up yeah, the ladder, down the stairs. Exactly. That is exactly what I was thinking. Up the ladder, down the stairs. This is something that I've always appreciated, uh, or rather, that I just now came to appreciate better from a design standpoint with uh, the other world and um, the like kind of level dungeon design of Silent Hills is that nine times out of ten, you are always in an area before you go into over uh, other world, and then once you get into other world, it's generally usually the same layout. But because you've already been there, you have both a sense of famili familiarity and unfamiliarity from the environment, right? That's fine. I'm sure she's fine. She's just a little stuck into the ground. That's good for her. Mm -hmm. That's good for her. But yeah, I really like that, you know, you uh, you get familiar with the environment before you get into Otherworld, and once you get into Otherworld, the thing that's disorienting about it is what's changed, but not necessarily that it's harder to navigate because you don't know where anything is. Exactly. Yeah. Aww. I have a cinnamon bun in my lap now. Such a needy baby. Well, uh, I'm glad that James knows there's something in this room because you just literally walked into it. <laughs> oh, wait, have we seen that? We nope. have seen that. We sure haven't. I was just confused because I didn't end up using that key on it. Oh, oh it's this! It's the lockbox. 
They're not cowards after all. Only two locks though. I thought it had three before. I can't remember I if it had two or three. <laughs> I'm I'm making a bitch, Sean. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Why do you have to get mad at every time I make a bad joke? Come on now. <laughs> Because it's the same bad joke every time, and it wasn't uh, funny the first time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You've been making the same joke every 30 minutes since we started playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> but I make that joke every stream, John! <laughs> uh, I've been making that joke for years! <laughs> I immediately fuck that up. Uh, oh, okay. That's how. Oh. Okay. It, like, loop back around. Though I don't understand how this was blocked off before then. It's shifting. It's, it's squishing. It's shifting, it's squishing, and it's making all sorts of noises. Yeah, I've liked the I've liked the hospital so far though. It's been it's been really good. Yeah, I've um, been enjoying it. That was a weird effect you did on the door. You don't like their scraped door visual? No. Just weird. Like match anything, you just scuffed the entire door by hitting it once. You have friends that way. Something was making noises over here. Mm -hmm. Something Lots was squishing. Something. Yeah. There's a lot of squishing, but uh, apparently it's somewhere else. Oh, there. I always feel like the flashlight doing that means something, but I can never quite tell. Also, it usually I does that when you... Hey, can you let me in? Please? Hey, I, just, I need to get in there real quick. What if she did just open the door? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be very helpful. That's a fun effect, though. I like that you can see her through the window. Yeah. But what is that? What, what do you think that light, light effect usually signifies? Usually signifies that you're locked into combat. Yeah, subtle. Stop that. Okay. I was really just expecting her to run away. I also just noticed that you do the uh, Resident Evil uh, weapon narrowing. It's a nice. It's a nice feature. It's a good way to prevent the player from just being able to repeatedly shoot over and over again. Mm hmm Why'd you let me do that? God, they take so many bonks. Oh, peace. Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli. You fell to the bottom of the sea. Are you. Is this a real thing? Uh, it's a Steven Universe song. Ah. I have yet to still watch the universe. I still have yet to watch the Steven Universe. I never you finished know. it, but I enjoyed what I watched of it. I was gonna say, you know my. You know my opinion. It's unfounded and bad. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not even bad because I have a problem with the show. I just have a literally bad opinion about the show. It is a, yeah. it is a an objectively bad take. It is a it is a qualitatively bad take because it has nothing to or it has nothing to do with me thinking the show is good or bad. It's just I made a comparison 
about the show that is nonsensical and not real. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Why can't I just see that Cat Fingers is just like Akira? I don't know why people get so mad when I say that. It's truly unknowable. It's the one... Well, not the one episode, but the one of the few episodes of Steven Universe I've ever seen. <laughs> Are you the only one in here? I feel like there's someone else here. Probably. It flashed, so now I'm locked in. Okay. Ah, uh, you're gonna need a shower now. You've leaked all over yourself. What's funny is these... Let me out, let me out. <laughs> these lying figures actually kind of feel easier than the other ones. They just explode instead. I mean, by the time they're down, you can usually just stomp them. That's true. But yes, the ones that are already crawling around tend to be the hardest ones. Because they're so fast. Mm -hmm. I can't catch them no more. Stop skating. Sorry. Every single, every single nurse in this hospital has to be... Uh, Issued Heelys to get from room to room faster. If only. They are one of the coolest forms of transportation. Woo! Better drink my juice. Time to drink your juice. Time to drink your kombucha. That's a lot it of is good ammo. It is called nutritional supplement. Like, it isn't even called, like, health drink in this game. Well, I guess, eh. It's called both. It's called both, I was gonna say. It's like, it is also called health drink, but... What do you think it is? Is it like Vegemite? I mean, I was thinking of it as, like, protein shake. One of them... Protein health shakes. Mm hmm. Dude, James is gonna be so fucking ripped. He drinks so many goddamn health drinks. So it does say that it's locked. Uh, it's wrapped around, and that confuses me. Didn't mm -hmm. anticipate that. Okay, so where does this need to go? This needs to go somewhere. Where am I getting? Where's my window that I need to crawl through? Uh-huh. I thought I... Wait, no, we saw the gurney. Wait, is that... Is that not it to the left? Where? Left more? Up there? Oh, I guess not. That's a cage. That's nothing. This is in fact a cage, my guy. Boop, yeah, I haven't boop, seen boop, boop, boop. any... any ups. I haven't boop, seen any ups. Boop, boop, boop. Here it is. There you go. Yeah, I feel like they've done a really good job of uh, bringing in a lot of the, like, very specific aesthetic um, presentation of the original hospital from the remake. I, I like all the stuff on the walls and stuff. I remember that being a pretty strong visual. Mm -hmm. Someone's in there. Go say hi! I should say it first. They're probably not, can you, I was about to say, James, can you really not get off the box? He doesn't like to get off the box. It's too he, high, I might twist my so ankle. It's so scary. It's so, so, I don't know how to get down. The only way I know how to get down is by falling headfirst through the window. <laughs> Yeah, 
Here I go. So there they are. Oh god. Oh god, I think there's two of them. Oh, that was just a regular one though. I really thought she was going to hit you there, actually, yeah. Oh, you got her right in the eye! Oops. Don't worry about that, everybody. I'm just having my own Silent Hill fight with my microphone stand. What am I stuck on? James, go! <laughs> A bookshelf. Just a bookshelf. Sean, have you watched anything recently of note? Uh, I played mouthwashing today. Um, I didn't realize <laughs> your teeth were so bad. What the fuck is that? Mouthwashing is something I'll talk about after we read this now. He's there again, looking, staring. He says he'll drag me there. I don't want to. I won't let him take me. Oh, okay. There's a hole in the paper. Dude, it's one of those it's holes. Gone, though. Yeah. Um. Oh! <gasps> That's cute. Oh, I was expecting him to 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 say the riddle. Honestly, I don't think the riddle would work in this game because you don't get the you don't get the same memoirs, so you don't get to learn about Silent Hill. No one knows. You no one truly supposed to be. No one truly knows. They're right about one thing. Can you tell what that is? It's like a moldy ceiling to me. Hmm. Either the floor or the ceiling. It looks like a cracked ceiling to me, though. We still don't even make know what sense to be the ceiling, because then I don't know what the thing at the top of the photo is. It looks like a radiator? That would make us a wall. Or like the floor to the wall? There's also like a weird jam around it. I do not, I truly do not know what you're supposed to be interpreting that as. We still don't even know what those do, because... We've definitely found one of the locations of one of those pictures, and, uh... It, uh... Maria's breathing really heavy. Was oh, this Maria's room? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, you don't remember this? She needs to... She needs to probably see a doctor for that. That's... That's... That could be a serious health concern if you're snoring really loud. You might not be getting enough oxygen to your brain. Okay. So I've gotten two keys. It's not exactly what I needed. So I have the director's office key. I have to do something with that next. But you already used the director's office key. You used it in regular world. Oh. Now I have other another world. one. I have the other world one. Okay, so, director's office. Yes, I can just keep going. Cool. Just keep on running. What the hell is mouthwash, Sean? Oh, mouthwashing. Uh, mouthwashing is a psychedelic indie narrative horror game um, that is... It just came out, and... I had already been kind of interested in it from what I'd seen of it, and... Wait, what? 
Oh, that yeah. is the director's office. Didn't realize I'd gone that far yet. Uh, I'd already been pretty interested from what I'd seen and... Aw, oh, he's laughing at ya. Uh, and... I just saw a review thread on Reddit that was very positive, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull the trigger, it's only... twelve dollars. And it was pretty good. I think that it's... Uh, so it's basically the first 30 minutes of Alien pushed through the filter of the first person segments of Signalis. Oh. Um, it's pretty cool, very stylish, um, very upsetting. Um, and I, I think it's pretty solid. It's definitely worth a try, worth a look if you're interested in like psychedelic psychological horror. Um, I think that it falls short of really being like great. I, I think that the psychedelic sort of surrealist presentation of the narrative sort of obfuscates the fact that the narrative is a little bit flat. Uh huh. But. It's still good. It's definitely worth. I mean, for thir for twelve or thirteen bucks, it's worth checking out. Yeah, it looks interesting. Looks crazy, and the premise alone sounds right up my alley. Honestly. Yeah. I found fifty in the ECT room again. This time I checked. He was not appointed for the treatment. How is it possible he got there all by himself? And how would he know how to turn the thing on? Somebody's going to answer for this. So close, it will happen. Has to. Has to happen. Nurse's note. Got to, got to. Uh, James, why are you clutching yourself? You're not even hurt. Oh, my spleen. Oh, they really got me in me spleen. In my bleen. In his bleen. They spleened his bleen. They bleened his spleen. Okay, well, follow the little red line, I guess. Might as well, I had to follow the chain. Probably freaks down the corridor to shoot. Can you stop slobbering all over? Can't help it, Sean. They're Doom Freaks now. That's what Doom Freaks do? Slobber all over the floor. Didn't get oh, it. hey! That was actually... I think they handled that actually quite well. I was not expecting there to be two of them. Woo! Good dog. It also seems like the nurses, at least, like, melee-wise, are a little bit harder to avoid. Because of their combo a little bit, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, them them jittering around like that is actually pretty good for uh, more than just creep factor because it makes them really hard to shoot. <laughs> she got confused. Mm -hmm. Well, we also, on the topic of, of horror, psychological horror and Silent Hill, we did also watch Infinity Train, which, yes, is very, very, very good. I was not expecting... Specifically, I showed Isaac the first season of Infinity Train. He hasn't seen any of the other seasons yet. That's true. Yeah, if you were to wildly come in with a sudden spoiler from season four, that would have been very unfortunate. <laughs> But no, I, I I really enjoyed season one, and I liked what it was going for. And John, you're absolutely correct. It very much is Silent Hill for for kids. Like, I mean, I like stuff that that's willing to do that. Like, children's horror is very fascinating to me in that I feel like I haven't seen very many examples of it, but every time I do, it always seems to be pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. 
right? Like, Infinity Train, Over the Garden Wall. Cur I've always wanted to go back and at least rewatch portions of Courage, because even just Courage as, like, a, a Monster of the Week show is a very good Monster of the Week show, if I remember correctly, for children's horror. Yeah, I mean, I liked it as a kid. I don't know. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but... I remember enjoying it as a small babby. A tiny babby idiot. I remember one of my favorite episodes was like a, an emotional episode where all I remember about it is there's a guy shooting people with cannonballs that make people sad and depressed and it ends with something causing them to make the cannonballs not sad and depressed anymore. But it had this weird like it had this weird, like, really oppressive tone to the episode, and the episode felt like a Silent Hill portion where everyone's just kind of sad and weird. <laughs> and I just remember the episode was about a, a guy, like, a, the, the antagonist was somebody who was, like, really upset, and they just were like, I'm very upset all the time, so I'm going to make everybody else feel upset, and that was what the episode was about. <laughs> and, I, and I remembered liking it. Like, I remembered it, like, having some pretty compelling writing for, you know, and some really weirdly emotional music. <laughs> I won't rest until they have solved. I won't rest. I can't rest. I don't know how anymore. Thank you. Thank you, director. He's gonna fix the people. He's, He's gonna fix the such people. A good job. Uh huh. Ah, uh, dude, you turned on the brain scrambler and you broke it. Uh. There's one. Nine six five. Nine. Uh, nine. Yeah, I think that's nine. Oh, that's nice. I like that it. Or at least, am I crazy? Was there a chain on the floor to signify that you need to go back that way? There was a chain on the floor. Yeah, I like that. I like stuff like that. Hey, Sean, I've already forgotten the number, so I hope you haven't. <laughs> Dude, you really... I worry about the state of your brain sometimes. It's fine. I remember things sometimes, and sometimes if it's just not important to me, it ain't gonna stay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, six. Oh, okay. It was 50-50. <laughs> It's a good thing you're one. playing, because I would have totally been like, it didn't work, Sean. Why the fuck didn't it work? Uh, it's okay, you have a special brain. I have a special brain. Very special brain. Ooh, they're cooking over there. What are they cooking? They're doing they're a little bit of a burble. They're doing a burble in the bathtub. Look at it. Probably shouldn't be doing that. The water's too hot. No one's gonna be able to use that. The water's too hot. Well, you gotta give it a little bit of time to cool off. Well, oh man, you might have to go down into the baby, into the baby basement. James doesn't want to go down there. I'm just saying, if they don't make baby noises down there, then why am I even freaking here? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, there doesn't seem to be down? What I can tell. I mean, hey, there James, are two what? staircases, but have you They're seen both the second? Locked. Yeah, I was gonna say. Have you seen Maybe the second staircase? This goes the other one? Because technically... Technically the... Oh yeah, because that's just connected to that. So it's this that I need. Oh, oh never mind. I thought you already followed that one. Let's 
this goes up and over. I guess we haven't been over here. Monstrosities squibble in the dark. Ooh, I like that. It is very silly that the radio is in this game. It feels like it does nothing. Yeah. You could turn it off and it wouldn't matter. Well, that uh, that mannequin went somewhere. <laughs> She's hiding. It's hiding from you, Sean. Sure is. I okay. actually really don't know where she went. Yeah. Guess she's gone. <sighs> More bullets. At least they're loading up your shotgun back up after that fight. I got more shotgun shells than I walked into that fight with at this point. Uh huh. Do you even really use the shotgun? Yeah. Did, did you really even use the shotgun if you have more ammo now than you did before? Look, this is how progression works. I need to get more. I need to get more so that I can have more for the next boss than I had for the last one. Uh huh. What's funny is, I don't think there's actually really a boss for a while after this, right? It's um, not like... no, the next boss I think is Daddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. One year they've been watching me. So many pills they fed me when a loud hour comes. I tremble every time the light falls. He just ripped that page tree out of there. Other page not important, though. Okay. One. I see one and one. I see one and one. Maybe the last is a five at the end? On the S for falls? Maybe? Oh, wait, Unless it's just four... the start of each line. There's also 14, 15, 16 across the top. For the well, days. yeah, but that's just the dates. Those go across all the way. Um, Or maybe it's nothing. It's a red Harry. Could be. Watch it go dark. I'm watching. Two blinks. It's two blinks every time. Blinks. Two blinks. So I guess one of the numbers is two, and one of the numbers is six, and the other numbers are one. So it's one, six, and I guess that's the loud hour. No, every time the light falls, so two. One, six, something, two. I don't know what the loud hour is. I think we need to find a clock. You're a clock. No. I'm a clock. It, the fuck is that? It's pointing <laughs> at you. Ah. What? Sorry, I just got attacked by the scariest monster of all. Your son? I love stun. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, what's the loudest hour? Two. Wow, that's really dumb. That is really dumb. Ooh, are you new? Uh... You're just friends. Oh boy. Ha! You can't go over small ledges, can you? I genuinely don't know. So, wait. It, it was 1622? Two, two? 
Uh, yeah. Did I go the wrong way? Maybe? I have no idea. I've gotten turned around. No, the chain is going that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is... Oh, this is why I'm confused. I can't get through this way. I have to go around. Oh, I see. Maybe I don't see. Take a drink, take a sip. Okay, Did so how see? do I get around? Round, round, get around, I get around. Round, round. Yeah, okay, I can just go straight through. There's a locked door below, but yeah. Straight through, then hang two lefts. So noisy. Uh, do you mind? We're trying to figure this out. Wait. Maybe I can open the restroom door now, then? Yeah, that's what I was otherwise, thinking. otherwise, I don't see a way to get through otherwise. Yeah. Wait, no, you can't get back to the restroom. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I can't... That's this. I can't go through this, but I have to go... This is really hard go. to explain without a mouse cursor. Suffice yeah, I to see. say, I know where I'm going. Yes, I think you have to go around. Yeah, yeah that yeah, is yeah, literally yeah. what I said. Yes. Now I understand, Sean. I had to use my eyes and reasoning and de reason reasonings of deduction. Oh. Ow. Come on, man. Oh my god, this is bad. There's a couple of them, Sean. Just a couple. There's more of them! And this emergency would be appreciated. Nah, that's not important. God, I think you just went in a circle. John, you went in a circle. <laughs> that is the way I need to go. I just went the wrong exit at the end. Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody in. Pile into the room. It's a good thing James can just outrun them. That's fine. This way. There you go. Think something followed you through the door? Nah, I'm good. One, five, two, oh, two. It's not five, it's six, my guy. Mm -hmm. It really was just that easy. What do you mean? The one felt like it might have been a red herring. It just seemed too easy to be one. gonna be pissed if they didn't have this yeah I love the the girl door what the fuck what's in your mouth get that out of your mouth that's not sanitary you don't even know what to do with that it's a button oh it's the elevator button Betty. Elevator. So the elevator is. It's right there. It's right there. 
be right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you just checking if there are any other rooms you miss? Yeah, I'm just looking at... Look at what I'm doing, look at where I'm going. I don't think it would be really worth backtracking at this point, because... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fuck in this area that I didn't deal with. Yeah, there's there's some fuck back there that you didn't that you didn't mess with. So might as well let sleeping dogs sleep. Let sleepy dogs sleep. Everyone. Yay! Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat. You answer our questions correctly and win a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Hey! Or you fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It's all in the hands of our lucky contestant, James Sunderland. James, are you ready to play trick or treat? Excellent! Here's your first question. Okay, first question. In the early 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Silent Hill, resulting in the death of many of its inhabitants. Their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. How many souls were lost during the plague? 1, 42, 2, 67, 3, 85. Know the answer? Well, you better hold on to it. You never know when it might come in handy. Uh... Now, on to the second question. Follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts of town. One and only one road will take you towards the lumber yard and the cemetery. What is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Munson Street. Three, Wiltsy Road. Did you get that? I sure as hell hope so. And for a third and final question, Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. One of the victims was a local boy named Billy Locay. But what was the name of the other victim? Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Two, Heather. Three, Julia. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? If so, Fantastic! The time will soon come to collect your prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong, well, looks like that's all the time we have today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness. Okay. We got this. I definitely don't. Also, here, let me get out of your computer. Oh, great. Since doing the Wonderful. fun, yeah, audio thing. Perfect timing. Sure is. Don't look at my screen, Amber. It's embarrassing. Don't look at my look screen. At Thank you. <laughs> Don't look at my screen. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... How many people well, died just... in... How many people yeah. died? Silent I don't know Hill. if we have. The street address. The out. street we can easily find. I need to find like the news articles and shit. I definitely know it isn't Heather, but that's a fun. That's a fun red herring to throw in there. I liked that. Mm-hmm. What? I have more memos than this. They did try to make the uh, the radio guy sound like more aggressively sinister, but yeah, that was good. 
I like that he's like more kind of weird because he's like really over the top in the original. I love the way that they present the original because like he's saying all those things and it's more unsettling because, you know, he doesn't sound directly sinister towards James for saying it. He's just saying this gruesome shit. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? The first time I had the radio experience, I was, I genuinely was like, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's such I a can't fault them for trying to make that more. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's a weird thing to try to make work in a like super serious rendition of this game. I what, I feel like I'm missing memos. What's going on here? Because I know for a fact that like we read uh, a, like an article about dowsing that's just not in here, which is not relevant really, but it, that we're missing might be... memos. Oh no, there might be so there were like some cases of like if you see like a poster or something on the wall, you technically can't take the poster with you. And I feel like there were a couple of like newspapers and stuff like that, but that would be bad. Yeah, it can't be that. Uh, well, let's at least get. Uh, it's the one that goes to the graveyard. This would be this one. Huh? That's just the elevator opening up. It's just the elevator opening up. Okay, so... That's uh, Wilt. Witsy? Yes, yeah, Wilt. And then... The first one was, what, 42, 60-something, and 85? Yes, 42, 67, and 85, but I don't know. There must be notes you can find in this section for it, because mm -hmm. we don't have any memos that would talk about any of that. And I do remember we 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 mentioned we talked about how they mentioned the the axe murder early on. So like you still can find the memo for the axe murder, but I don't remember if it ever says the kids' names in it. But my point is, it... is that the memo's not in our inventory. Mm -hmm. ah! So I just can't look at it. Right. All I know is that it definitely isn't Heather, because that's just a good that's just a good bit. I, I think they that that's fun that they made one of the red herrings Heather, because I'm gonna say that's a Silent Hill 3 reference. <laughs> yes, very much. It's the kind of Silent Hill 3 for reference that works in this kind of case, too, because people would probably be like, Heather sounds like a familiar name. That seems familiar. When the reason why they think it's familiar is because of Silent Hill 3. Yeah, that looked like something dangerous. It really wasn't, though, it seems. Seems fine. Seems fine. I wonder if they're gonna have the floor guys. The floor guys were also weird. I remember them existing, but you never get quite an idea of what the fuck they're supposed to be. Yeah, they're not very many of them, but they're also sort of late in the game. I, want, I also wonder if they're gonna change um, the like, the underground labyrinth. Uh, to be more like a Mr. X situation, because I do know technically Pyramid Head is in there, but he doesn't really chase he? you. He's yeah, he's in there a couple times. I remember, I remember getting stabbed by Pyramid Head in the in the un underground labyrinth a couple times because he's walking around with a spear. I'm pretty sure that doesn't sound familiar to me at all. Huh. But I could be wrong, I suppose. Yeah, you haven't played this game in a while. It's been like played it earlier this Eight year. Months. You said, yeah.
And then I believe we played it last year, too. I think last year's when we did Silent Hill 2? Was that two years ago? Fuck. It's... It, it's been too long already. Hmm. I'll never know. I'll never tell. What? You missed. Ah. Seemingly. <laughs> there is an effort sound that James makes sometimes that does not sound like he's being hurt. <laughs> He just sometimes goes, ah. <laughs> John, what would it sound like if you got stabbed by a knife? <laughs> Try that again, Discord didn't like it. Man, you, the, apparently Discord is stabbing you right now, or you are actively getting stabbed, and if you were actively getting stabbed, I wouldn't know, Sean. I would just think you made a weird noise, because Discord really doesn't want you making that noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you were to get stabbed right now, I wouldn't even know. I would just hear that and be like, huh. Oh, Sean's okay. I don't know what that was about. That was just a weird noise. Maybe Milo did something. <laughs> or maybe now I would know because that's the sound you would make and I'd be like, oh, that's the sound that Discord censors whenever Sean's getting stabbed. Mm -hmm. Really could go either way. Knowing me, which one do you think it would be, Sean? <laughs> Knowing me, how likely are you to survive this stabbing? <laughs> no chance you would remember. <laughs> no chance I'd survive. You couldn't I'd remember survive. a four-digit code for ten seconds earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That's because I wasn't trying, Sean. What if I was really trying to pay attention to whether or not you were being stabbed? See, I don't believe that you are. I believe that you... <laughs> Are laissez-faire about me getting stabbed? Can't, you can't insult me with words that I don't know. I got a ring. <gasps> Maria, what are you doing here? Mary. Oh. Maria, I thought... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. I... So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before don't really seem to care about that girl. <laughs> sorry for her. She's to be so fair, and... he's had some experiences with her. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. No! Well, she's back. You knew this was bound to happen. There's this... So... I thought... Does she join you for a majority of the second half of... Other world, or does she not appear until you get to the pyramid head chase scene? I don't remember. It's before the chase scene, but it's only like the last part of the thing. Gotcha. Um, I guess I'm just going upstairs. I mean, that seems about right then. It seems like she's gonna be here a little bit longer than she was before. Because. All that's left is that door, and I believe I remember correctly, once you go through that door, that's when you get to that part.
And you know what? So far, Maria hasn't commented on anything, so this has been fine. She has been in our party for 10 seconds. Well, Sean, you remember last time. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Also, Maria, don't get ahead of yourself. You just you walk back in here to check that door and walk back out, and she's being strangled by a mannequin. What the hell is that? Well, what do you know? A stroll in the rain. Damn, it was 11 seconds, Sean. Maria, what are you talking about? The rain, James. I mean, it's a nice effect. I like the effect. I like the affect. It's weird to me that they're doing the, like, indoor rain now. It sort of undercuts the significance of when it comes in later. I'm trying to remember where that happens now. I don't remember where the, un where the inside rain happens. Oh my god. What? I don't! I'm sorry! <laughs> this dude over here nitpicking all the little things this game does different and doesn't even remember the I indoor rain. I don't remember the indoor rain! I'm sorry, Sean! Was it something I should have been watching for? <laughs> I really don't remember it. I don't... It's, the I, entire in my... other world of the hotel is flooded and raining. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. I mean, it... When you point it out like that, yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's coincidence, or do you think it's intentionally repositioned there? Having no over. way they got rid of it at the end. Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? You got arms, don't you? Fine. She just opens it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The wonderful smell we've discovered. Hmm. What's this? Garbage. Maria, it's garbage. <clears throat> Not very cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? <laughs> what are you, what what's that looking at? Yeah, what, are, what was she looking at? She wasn't looking what at was James. Looking at? <laughs> they were both making some fucking weird expressions there. So, where to now? Come on. I think I know where those rings belong. Jam it, James. We know where the rings belong to. Weird Jam it, James. Like openly acknowledging the adventure game puzzle. Uh huh. That it's, seems odd to me. It's it just seems like they're be, make trying to make a self-referential joke to be like, haha, adventure games. Am I right, guys? Doesn't really read as a joke to me, but okay. That's a hole. It is a hole. Um, uh, my concern is that we haven't found any memos. Mm hmm. We also haven't found the box. I mean, the way they said it made it sound like they're going to present us with the box. It's not going to be something we have to go out of our way for, it sounds like. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to remember because I swore we definitely saw like a newspaper that spoke about it, but I don't remember if we took like the newscape newspaper clipping or anything. Just weird. Like, why are there memos that we don't get to look to reread? I uh -huh. didn't even notice that was happening. The moments like this, Sean, to you to prove that you are. Real of Silent Hill Maniac. Uh, I see. <laughs> well, we know what? one out of three. Yep. 
Okay, uh, how now, brown cow? How does one return from whence they have... How exactly does one suck a fuck? How does one... You don't even... And I know you don't know what even a fuck is. God, I can't even remember exactly what she says. You don't even know what a fuck is. Okay, it is you don't even know what a fuck is. No basement, baby. No baby noises in the basement. Basement's just bigger in general. The basement was like two rooms before, if I remember correctly. Actually, I can't get back through here. You not? Nope. Well, I saw a locked door on the second floor. Don't take my word for that. Somewhere up here. I saw, I saw like, a, a locked door you could reach now. At least there's a nice, at least you're going for a nice leisurely stroll, it seems. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's so peaceful. Pool. That's because you killed everything. <laughs> I very much didn't, is the thing. Excuse me, Maria. Oh. In fact, I hear squishing ahead. At least I heard squishing. See, there feels like there's an exit through the doctor's lounge. Maybe. Is it this? Yeah. Is this? Okay. Is that so? Uh... Oh, here's a memo. Patients will become diagn... The patients... The patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment. Boy, did that's I, gibberish. Did I fucking write this note? Okay, so what? <laughs> what is written in code in this note? Because this is gibberish. Let me see. It is written by my brain. The patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment. I don't like that I read that perfectly without a stutter, Sean. <laughs> my broken uh. fucking brain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you glean any meaning from it is the question. No, I think it's just gibberish, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be. I'm sorry to tell you, but my brain doesn't make sense sometimes, so... No. <laughs> Maria, can you explain? She's like, what the fuck, do you think I'm dyslexic? <laughs> Well, I'm tempted to push on because we're so close to the pyramid yeah. head chase, right? Like, I gotta know. Yeah, we got time. Listen, uh... I have incentive to go to bed. Definitely go to bed sooner rather than later. I'm going to be getting up really fucking early in the morning for important reasons. Yeah, that's fair. That everyone should... Hey, everybody, you all should be getting up early tomorrow, I'm just saying. Finding the time to go do something very important tomorrow. Oh, hey, we found the oh, box. Nice. That's bad news. There it is. Sure never did find those memos. Did the original also just have the memos? I remember not knowing the answers because had, I... There were memos in the game. They weren't like on the way to the thing, but... Right. The fact that you can't just look back at memos you've read makes this like impossible. Yeah. Uh, and this is just like no way of knowing how many died during the plague. Like, you hundred yeah. percent need to reference a memo for that. 
And I'm like, did we even... Oh, I agree, I totally agree. I'm like, did we even see anything mention a plague at any point? I think so, but it's impossible to say since we verifiably have memos that we didn't get to keep. What's the worst that would happen? You could try it. You get sprayed with a little bit of poison in your eyes, I believe, right? Who knows? I'm trying All to that's think in if there. there's like a way to get around to somewhere else that those might be. Well, we'll find out. Uh, I don't think so. Because, again, like much the the... If it is based on anything from the original, you kind of need to know those. Yeah, you, you you would need to know those memo references. Like, and they were references that you got earlier in the game. They were not things that you got from the hospital. Cannot stress yeah. enough that this is not the same video game. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Uh, we already feel like we've gotten evidence, though, that the memos are from earlier in the game. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Fair a shame. Enough. I really wanted to do the the box. You'll do the box. You just gotta guess it. What's wrong with guessing? What is that? Oh, hey, there's words over here. She's an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me, she is an angel. What an angel. She could be what the angel, angel or the or the devil. She could be the devil egg. Well, I'll make one guess at this. Only get one anyways. <laughs> I mean technically I could reload. That's true. Yeah, you just you just reload it and we just try all the combinations. It's fine. Oh my god, how did I never think to do that? Because I remember trying this and then I guess I just accept my fate. Huh. I remembered fucking it up the first time. <laughs> I maybe it was 85? I mean, it's a complete guess. We know that the last, that the second one is three. Mm -hmm. I suspect that it's... Oh hey! my god, Sean. Oh, yes. And you were worried. I can't even believe you were worried about that. Got it Do you in know one. You got it? What? Do you know how I got it? How'd you get it? So I knew I knew that the second one was three. Mm -hmm. And then I suspected that the last one, I suspected that they were all different numbers. So for the last one, we knew it wasn't two because two is Heather. So if it couldn't be three, it had to be one. And that meant the only number left for the first question was two. <laughs> what would you have done if you would have done that and it would have been wrong? Would you have been kicking yourself to think that they might have had repeating numbers? No, I mean... If anything, I would have been like, dang, they got me. Uh -huh. It was... It was more, uh... Cleverly arranged than I gave them credit for. And the joke's on them! They... They, they were the fools. What did I get? I wasn't even paying... I was so excited that you I got, got it. I got two shotgun boxes. shells and yes. two syringes. Yes. What should I mean is good? Shells, 20 oh my shotgun god. Shells. A lot. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? What do you think we're doing? Right. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. Come on. 
It's gonna be fine. Don't be a baby. Mm -hmm. Remember when I used to hold your hand in the original version? Yeah, that's more like it. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Shades of Godfather in that shot. Weirdly. It is done. Sick no more. Sick no more. See, we're not even sick anymore. Sick no more. Oh, hey, another save. Been a lot of saves back to back. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I've noticed that a lot of the level de design is actually much more condensed. What's funny is the the apartment and the the hospital are actually kind of scary in that they kind of sprawl out from the save, if I remember correctly. So they're really hard to traverse back to. Whereas this has a lot of loop back in on it itself, which is fine. That's just a different kind of level design. That's neat. I like that. Bye, Maria. Oh, oh there she is. Here we go. Ah, dude, it auto-saved. Or something. Run! Okay, that was fine. At first, it was gonna be like, I can't believe they put a cutscene. No, it's fine. Yeah. See, this doesn't work as well because of lack of tank control. <laughs> yeah, Running this is one series of hallways doesn't require any effort in a uh, modern movement control scheme. Yeah, they, yep. they truncated it. That makes yep. sense. Probably because they realize where I got killed by this multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I think they made the right decision truncating that. <laughs> I agree that it was the right decision given the limitation that they had kind of emplaced on themselves because I couldn't think of a good way to make that work better, but I think my recommendation would be is if you want that scene to be terrifying, definitely play the original because it's really good. <laughs> that, that scene is stressful in the original. It's hard, too. Maria gets killed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we both agree we can't really blame them. It's, it's yeah, I don't I don't know what you would do to fix that. I think truncating it is the safest choice. Yeah. Without doing something silly like making pyramid heads suddenly be much more aggressive from behind or like pop out in front of you, which they kind of ease or something or yeah. yeah. Get another save. You'd have to make. Pyramid had much more, uh, uh... Or make the environment more difficult to navigate, which they sort of play at doing, but don't actually commit to. Yeah. Which is that. probably for the best, because it was... Even as very little as they did, I was already starting to draw Crash Bandicoot comparisons in my head, so uh -huh. it's good that they didn't commit to that. Yeah, it that's just tough. That's just something that doesn't really work in That's just something that doesn't really work with this control scheme and I don't mm -hmm. I don't genuinely know how you would make it work. Yep.
And yeah, that's that's why I would say it's like is not we don't really know how you would like salt. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, I guess it wasn't readable. Ooh, it's nighttime now. Wait, it was nighttime in the original too. The potential for this illness exists in all people. And, under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven, like him, to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a physician, uh, or a psychiat psychiatrist. Unlike the director. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. True that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. To him, there simply is no other reality. Therefore, he is happy there. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? I've always liked that one. Yeah, good one. Okay, I think this is probably a better stopping point. We're about yes. to start a new section. We don't have anything that we need to remember. Also, your game is bugged and seemingly just making a billion saves. <laughs> Wait, what? Look at how many saves it's generated. No, this is normal. Yeah, it's normal. This is normal. It's fine. <laughs> it is. Oh, unless I, you were making yeah, intent. I'm oh, keeping fine. checkpoints throughout the game so that I can go back to stuff if I need to. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. See, I listen, when the save was busted earlier, I just really thought it was making it wasn't like choosing any yeah, of the saves. It's you like working to save. properly and it's like only sort of visually bugged now. See, if I scroll down, it's not even bugged anymore, and except for when I first open it. Yeah, uh, no, it, it wasn't making any extra saves. I just have been keeping checkpoints at various places so that I can go back and replay certain sections if I want to, you know, see how something them. feels off stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that overall, the, the, ho the hotel this is like a hotel for sick people. Um, I think the hospital was was pretty good. I think it was definitely better than last time overall. Um, and again, it's hard for, uh, uh, when you when you point out that you know what what can they really do? It's hard to be more than just like yeah, there wasn't really a solution for that. So uh, that that is where I say. If you're out there and you played the remake and you're watching us uh, and you haven't played the original and you want to see that scene and have it be genuinely scary, I, I do think that chase scene is really good in the original for yeah, what the limitations what are. Yeah, and what especially sucks too, though, is the cumulative effect because we are now two for two with Pyramid Head's big scenes getting undercut. Mm -hmm. So Pyramid Head in this game is like... It feels way less intimidating than he did in the original because both of his big scenes that you have to interact with him are like trivially easy in this game as opposed to the original where they were both pretty harrowing. The irony is, is if they would have really like choked in on the environment or something and added a little bit more, they probably could have at least made it like harrowing to navigate because the turns are really what fuck you up in that original Labyrinth run, man. The turns fuck you up so bad. <laughs> yeah, what I would have probably done is I would have probably made that more of a maze mm -hmm. so that you could have, like, dead ends that you would then have to turn around and get past him in order to continue. Yeah, something to actually engage with him on. Like, yeah, because, again, like, just a straight run from a chase scene doesn't really work from him when you don't have any constraints like you did in the original. And the constraints are really what made that work. Um, and it is. Yeah. It's a, He's also... God, I, I, it's so funny. 
I, I would say, like, it's not so much that James is faster or anything. I just... He runs you down in the original. I remember him being uncomfortably fast somehow. You're like, how the fuck are you there, Pyramid Head? <laughs> yeah, well, and, like, it's tough because your movement is more efficient. Like, you're not getting hung up at all in this mm -hmm. control scheme. And also because... Be because moving is not a mechanic in this game... They can't have that sequence be as long as it is as it is in the original, because it's just like boring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's not as much time for the to be like push and pull there. Mm hmm. But and also, but yeah, I, I think they could have done something to make that work. But like I said, it, truncating it is the safe move. I, I can't fault them for doing that. I think that. You know, if you really brainstormed and like play tested a couple of options, there was probably a more interesting way to do that, but truncating it was the safe move. Right. Agreed. Well, I'll go ahead and start my close. My closer. I'm going to start with my clothes. Er. Where are your clothes? Ah, uh, sir. Where are your clothes, sir? <laughs> Uh, but before we end every stream, for anybody who's out there who doesn't know this, uh, at the end of the stream, I open up Bing Create, which is an image generator, and you guys are going to help me out. Uh, start typing in chat, and anything that chat says, I will utilize as a reference for the prompt in Bing Create, and then I'll share the image that we all make together at the very end of the stream. So, let's get, let's get it, let's get a crunch in, Sean. What Mr. Pyramid has with? the fastest legs. Mr. Pyramid has the fastest legs. And yet, Mr. Sunderland is just faster. And then if Chad, if you want to say anything, I'll give you a minute to to stew if you want to add to that at all uh yeah i uh ah i ain't got i ain't got a, i ain't got nothing else to add i like that it ends the same way too i was like for a second i was like i wonder if they're going to try to make the end of the uh hospital like differently climactic like giving pyramid head like a boss fight or something but i'm at least glad that they kept it the chase scene because it is what should be there and i they've done this on both the apartments and the hospital they've they've centralized the uh design the like layout of the dungeons so that you don't ever really have to figure out where to go, and they always end at the, like, central hub. They, they've done this for both of them, because, um, like, the second door and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been very deliberate about designing these to be as easily traversable and as intuitive to understand as possible, which... It's an interesting design question, right? Like, the original Silent Hill 2 is very confusing at times, and it is intentionally so, but it is debatably... It is debatable whether that's a good thing or not. Right. And to what extent it's a good thing. I think the hospital really works. I really like the way the hospital is laid out in the first... in the original. Mm-hmm. But, uh... But I think I mean... the apartment was better in this one. The, the biggest thing I've noticed is they, they've almost, like, flipped the level design on its head, right? Like, if the original, you could describe a lot of those areas as, like, kind of more sprawling, they, they like, they branch out and have limbs, and you have to go back and forth up and down those limbs, usually multiple times. Whereas mm -hmm. this, they've really pulled in a lot of the design and condensed it. They've condensed yes. a lot of the level layout, which... Like you said, the trade-off is is they're way more intuitive, but it makes it less like you have to like you don't have to engage with it as much. Right. You don't have to engage with the level design and you don't have to like 
you don't have to engage with it Why from a light. Why did the music get randomly intense there? It's because James keeps on going through this door. <laughs> He's losing his mind. Yeah, the game got fed up with me bumble fucking around. I'm getting Pyramid Head just is on the other side of the door one of these times and he just grabs you and instantly kills you. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, um... Because that's the, that's the thing is, is you don't really ever revisit anywhere in the level layouts of the remake so far. A lot of it is actually pretty linear, like with loopbacks around that get you back to where you need to be. But the thing about the original is, is also because you were less likely to kill as many of the enemies, that means that if you had to retraverse areas, you had to keep on retraversing those enemies. Yeah, well, and the key item placement is the big thing. Like, the key items were crisscrossed a lot more, whereas in this mm -hmm. game, the place where you get a key item usually has a loop back around to the place where you're going to use it. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to figure out where you're... Scary. Game? You don't have to figure out where you're going. Um, it's sort of reminiscent of my complaint about Metroid Dread. I don't think mm -hmm. it's nearly as harmful in this game as it is in Dread because navigation is not the primary mode of engagement in this game, unlike in a Metroid game. Um, it's just interesting. I, I don't necessarily like or dislike it. I think that it is definitely more approachable. Um, there's a very small, like, textural element to me, I guess, that makes it feel a little bit less Silent Hill if I'm not having to, like, figure out what the hell I'm doing, but... If you're not that's... opening the map every two seconds to be like, okay, I'm at this end, now I need to go to that end. <laughs> yeah, which, like, there's still a little bit of that in this, but, like, it, that's very much, like, a curmudgeonly thing of, like... It felt slightly different in in my Silent Hill, so like I definitely don't think it's a it's not a criticism at all, but it is interesting texturally. No baby basement, bad game. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> okay, I added my I added one last little bit to the prompt. Uh, I added too bad Maria is still too slow. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and let that churn, and then we'll get us on. I'll get you all on your way. Should it, it should take it? Yeah. So stick around to the very end. If you want to see that image, we also do a bit of a closing bit. We do raid right after every stream, so that way the vampires in our chat can keep watching. Just everybody else out there, make sure to go lock your doors and windows because it's almost lunchtime for vampires. And thank you for joining, everybody. Hope you had a good time and you enjoyed the show. If you're able to join the live show, thank you for stopping by and chat and watching. If you're watching this in the future, thank you for taking the time going back and rewatching the VOD. We appreciate it. If you're out there and you enjoyed this and you want to see more of what we're up to, I recommend scrolling down below and following or clicking any of the links. There's a link to an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, and a Discord. We post when we go live on any one of those platforms, as well as anything else that we're up to, and just generally you can come hang out with the rest of the community there. It's a good time on the Discord. Speaking of which, a shout out to our community there and everyone who follows. You guys are a wonderful audience and we appreciate you. If we do anything particularly entertaining or noteworthy, feel free to clip it and share it on the internet. Just make sure to also hashtag with MC Canary or link it back to the stream so people can find more good, good stuff we do here. And as always, if you want to see the stream grow, you gotta let people know. I appreciate you guys talking about the stream more and we encourage you to do so. It means a lot to me and it does help us out. That's just great. It's just great that you're willing to do that. So, go talk to the stream. Go talk to the stream with the people. Do the, 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 the people do about the stream. Or else you're gonna get the spooky sounds. Don't make me get. Don't make Sean get the spooky sounds. And as always, a huge thank you to our supporters on Patreon and Twitch. Your generosity allows us to continue to expand the stream as well as take on more projects, and the stream would not be made possible without viewers like you. So we thank you. If you want to see your name added to this list, as well as a couple of the benefits you can get, you can always subscribe directly on Twitch or check out the Patreon page here. It'll show you everything that you can get, and any amount is always appreciated. Once again, thank you. And thank you to Amounts for doing a wonderful job holding back the robot army and for anyone becoming famous. Well, thanks, Sean, for sharing more Silent Hill 2. I had a good time. Yeah. Do you have any housekeeping? None. None.
Well, go check out everybody else in Goblin Entertainment. You can find everybody else's links in that link tree. Everything that they've done and they've been up to. And you can find the rest of my stuff here. I have my own link tree that has everything that I post to, such as the VOD channel for the Twitch, as well as a YouTube for my own videos, an art station for my art, a SoundCloud for my music, and much, much more. So go check everybody out. In Goblin Entertainment. Alrighty. We're gonna be raiding to someone. We're gonna be raiding to someone. Couple people on. There's a couple people on. You know what? Let's go. Let's go say hi to. So playing. They're playing Ocarina of Time. We know how much you love that game, Sean. <laughs> it's my favorite. So go, everybody. Go say to me. So she's playing with a couple other people. So go say hi to them. Otherwise, have a good evening. Take it easy. Sean, is there anything you'd like to tell the audience? Don't forget, you gotta uh, never skip leg day or Pyramid Head will stab you right in the butt. Yeah, he will. Yes, he will. Now, this is curious. This is Maria, Sean. This is Maria, Sean. Hmm. I mean, I'm not here to judge. It's just not what I expected. Yeah. Spider-Man's in this interesting. one. And that Peppa Pig? And seemingly Peppa Pig. And that clock is bad and wrong. Yeah. They got the clock. They got the, they got the Silent Hill clocks. Just... Oh, there she is. <laughs> Why is there a soccer ball? Why are they doing also, soccer? His arm is awful. I hate his arm. <laughs> that one arm comes out from underneath and the other one comes out the side? Mm-hmm. You think you'll finally get to hug Pyramid Head? Oh, I hope so.